I come before the throne of grace, bringing you into God's presence. As we bow before his presence, his word in Isaiah 43 verse 19 declares that he is doing a new thing, making a way where there seems to be no way. And I join in faith with you as I lift you up and your desire for breakthrough, trusting in God's promises of renewal and transformation. So let us pray in the name of Jesus. I pray that God opens your eyes to perceive the new things he is doing in your life. May you recognize the signs of breakthrough that God is orchestrating in every aspect of your journey. May God's divine intervention be evident, bringing forth a season of refreshing and unprecedented breakthroughs. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 reminds us that through Christ, we can do all things. And so I declare this truth over you in Jesus' name. May the Lord strengthen your spirit, mind and body, empowering you to overcome obstacles and face challenges with unwavering faith. May you find strength in God, the source of all power and resilience. May the Lord break every chain that hinders your progress, whether it be doubt, fears or external challenges. I pray for liberation. Let the power of your spirit demolish, Lord God Almighty, every stronghold standing in the way of this one's breakthrough. May the Lord grant them the courage to step into new opportunities and possibilities with confidence. I lift you up and your dreams and aspirations to God, and I declare that you will align your desires with God's perfect will, and may your pursuit of breakthrough be in harmony with God's divine plan. May the Lord guard you and guide you in making decisions that lead to a future filled with hope and purpose. In the name of Jesus, I pray for divine provision in areas where breakthrough is needed over these one's lives, whether it be financial, emotional or relational let god's abundant blessings overflow in their lives god is the god of abundance and i trust that he will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in moments of weariness may you be reminded that god's grace is sufficient as you face challenges may you find solace and strength in the assurance that god's grace carries you through let every trial be an opportunity for you to experience the overcoming power of God's love. May the Lord grant you a heart that is attuned to his guidance. May you walk in obedience to God's word, trusting that as you acknowledge God in all your ways, he will make your path straight. As promised in Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6, I declare victory and breakthrough over your life. He is a God who makes a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert. And so I trust that through his mighty hand, you will experience a season of breakthrough that surpasses all expectations in the mighty name of Jesus. I come before the throne of grace, lifting you up in prayer for a breakthrough. God's word in 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4 reminds us that the weapons of our warfare are not the flesh, but that have divine power to destroy strongholds and therefore I pray that you experience a breakthrough in areas where strongholds have hindered progress and joy in your life. May the power of God divine weapons dismantle every obstacle and open up new parts of victory for you. For God is the God of hope and purpose. His promise in Jeremiah 29 11 assures us of his good plans for our lives, plans for welfare and not for evil plans to give us a future and a hope and I claim this promises for you believing the breakthrough is not only possible but is part of God's purpose for your life in the name of Jesus. In the authority of God's word I declare that every stronghold whether visible or hidden be broken in your life breakthrough in relationships in health in finances and in every area that needs God's transformative touch I pray against any negative thought patterns fears and anxieties that may have taken root. Let the power of God's truth as stated in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5 destroy arguments and opinions that stand against the knowledge of God in your life. Take every thought captive and align your mind with the liberating truth of God's word. God's ways are higher and so I pray for a supernatural breakthrough that defies human understanding over your life in the name of Jesus. 
as you face uncertainties and challenges may the lord help you through in his sovereignty his plans for you are plans of hope and the future let this truth anchor your faith as you journey towards breakthrough may you find assurance in god's unchanging character knowing that he is with you in every step i ask for strength and courage for you in moments of discouragement let the holy spirit remind you that god has commanded you to be strong and courageous according to joshua chapter 1 verse 9 and i pray for resilience in the face of adversity and a steadfast spirit that persists in seeking breakthrough for you in the name of jesus as we pray for breakthrough, may the Lord grant you wisdom to discern his guidance. May you recognize the doors God open and party illuminate. His word in Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 and 6 encourages us to trust in him with all our hearts and acknowledge him in all our ways. I pray that you lean not on your own understanding, but trust in God's divine guidance. In this moment of prayer, I surrender every burden and desire for breakthrough into God's hands as he is the God who sees, who hears, and who cares deeply for you. I rest in the assurance knowing that God's promises are yea and amen over your life. May breakthrough unfold in your life, bringing glory and honor to God's name in your life in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because we know the breakthrough is yours and there is nothing the devil can do over the lives of these ones that you have liberated. In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living god we pray amen limitations are obstacles employed by the adversary and his cohorts to impede your advancement in life hinder your achievements and inhibit your optimal performance however christ's liberation from the grip of anything the devil imposes upon you as stated in isaiah 10 27 is profound and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing so join me in this wonderful prayer with your faith if you experience limitations in any area of your life trust that god will from today give you deliverance let us pray. Father, I thank you for your love to see your children delivered from what's limited them. I thank you because we can come to you in the name of Jesus and obtain that victory. I thank you for the victory that you have already given them because your word says in John 8 verse 32, he who sets you free is free indeed. Father, I thank you for your thoughts for them, for they are good and not evil. Thank you, Jesus, that this is not your will or plan for their lives to be hampered by demonic forces and their evil weapons. And so by the authority in your name, Jesus, I command every tool of darkness aimed at obstructing everyone under the sound of my voice freedom to be dispersed. I proclaim also in the name of Jesus that you under the sound of my voice are liberated from all evil barriers. I declare that every scheme devised by the devil and his minions against your destiny as you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior from today they shall not prosper in Jesus name. According to Psalm 21 verse 11, though they plan evil against you, Though they devise mischief, they will not succeed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree the incineration of every instrument of limitation surrounding you. I declare that you will not encounter any limitations generations ahead of you faced in Jesus' name. I speak the word of God in Isaiah 43 verse 19 over you. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forward. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And so in the name of Jesus, I command every obstacle hindering your destiny be removed from your path. I decree the destruction of every dark altar where your affairs have been presented. I nullify every curse of limitation placed upon you and your family by your ancestors as I command every spirit of limitation to depart from your life and destiny in Jesus' name. 
I declare that every entity responsible for imposing the curse of limitation upon your finances be consumed by divine fire in Jesus' name. I decree above the authority on that name that every force pulling your back from advancing in destiny fails for it is written in Romans 8 verse 37, you are more than conquerors through Christ who loved you. I declare that every inherited evil trait that renders you susceptible to attack gotten rid of now in the name of Jesus. According to the psalmist prayer in Psalm 18 verse 16, he reached down from heaven and rescued me. He drew me out of deep waters. And so I declare that you are delivered from every detrimental habit that has deprived you from your freedom in Christ. In the name of Jesus, I pray for restoration of your ability to enjoy your freedom in Christ. As I declare that our sin has no dominion over you, according to Romans chapter 6, verse 12, any spirit of limitation has no hold over you also in Jesus' name. Psalm 140 verse 9 says, As for the head of those who surround me, let the mischief of their lips overwhelm them. And so I declare the intentions of the wicked to limit you overwhelm them in Jesus' name. And I reclaim your liberty in Christ. As Galatians 5 1 says, For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm therefore and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. I disassociate you from any ungodly association that fosters limitation traits in your life, aligning with 2 Corinthians 6 verse 17. Therefore go out from their midst and be separate from them, says the Lord. And so I completely sever your ties with your old association and cleave to godly ones in the name of Jesus. I reject shame and disappointment associated with the spirit of limitation. They shall no longer have rule over your life. I pray that you receive grace to mirror Christ completely in all your endeavors this season. I declare that you refuse to conform to any patterns of limitations in your lineage. I decree the destruction of every hindrance obstructing your progress. In the mighty name of Jesus, as I command the demise of every satanic barrier that has held you captive in the single phase for years in Jesus' name. According to Psalm 107 verse 14, He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and burst their bonds apart to every confinement suppressing the emergence of your destiny. I decree your liberation and release in the name of Jesus Christ. Altars of darkness that have erected barriers to impede your advancement in career and health, I command their disruption. In the name of Jesus, structures erected by the forces of darkness to resist your progress, I decree that demolition in Jesus' name, every curse instigated against your life from infancy, perpetuating stagnation, I break their influence over you and decree their ineffectiveness in your life in Jesus' name. Isaiah 40, 31 says, But they who wait for the Lord shall renew the strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I declare supernatural acceleration to transcend your current state in Jesus' name. I declare the restoration of all that you have lost due to stagnation in the mighty name of Jesus. Joel 2.25 says, I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army which I sent among you. According to the statement of Jesus in Luke 10 verse 18, it says, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. And so I declare a fall like lightning to every powers of darkness opposing your advancement. In Jesus' name, I decree that you break free from the confines of every spiritual entrapment hindering your progress in Jesus' name. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 13 says, And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail, and you shall only go up and not down. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, and so I declare in the name of Jesus that you step into territories generations before you could not enter due to the curse of limitation. Every blessing ordained by God for you and your loved ones shall come to fruition in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that every plot of demotion aimed at you shall crumble in the face of divine promotion. I decree an end to stagnation in your life 
by the divine authority vested in Jesus Christ's name. I declare a swift transition in your life from one level of greatness to another, devoid of limitations, delays and stagnations. Father, we thank you because all of these that we have asked are already done in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, do you know that the sinister strategy of the adversary is centered on theft, destruction and death, devoid of any benevolent intent? Employing demons and witches, the devil seeks to manipulate minds, instigating actions aligned with his malevolent agenda. It is therefore crucial to stand against the insidious influence of witchcraft manipulation through prayer. In combating this dark forces, one can find solace in the biblical truth that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That is 1 John chapter 4 verse 4. The scripture emphasizes the overwhelming strength of the indwelling presence of God within believers, surpassing the influence of any external malevolent force. So recognizing the devil's tactics to manipulate minds, Christians are encouraged to turn to prayer as a powerful defense. As I am about to pray against every witchcraft manipulation over your life by invoking divine protection and relying on the strength found in God's indwelling spirit, please join me as believers so that we can resist and overcome the manipulative schemes orchestrated by the enemy as affirmed by the biblical assurance of God's supremacy over the forces of darkness. So as I move ahead to pray, I would love you to like this video. And if this is your first time here, you are welcome. God definitely arranged it for you to be here to receive your deliverance. You can subscribe to this channel so that you can have more notifications or prayers for you from this channel. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you in the name that is above every other name. Jesus Christ I come on the behalf of everyone here that has decided to agree with me to pray recognizing the authority and power that is in your name your word in Deuteronomy 18 verses 10 to 12 one against practices like witchcraft and sorcery saying let no one be found among you who sacrifices their own son or daughter in the fire who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft, or casts spells, or is a medium or spiritist, or consults the dead. I bring before you, Father God, seeking protection and deliverance from any form of witchcraft ever one that has joined me, as I declare that now you are under God's divine covering as I rebuke any attempt of the enemy to manipulate or harm you through witchcraft. God's word is a shield and a fortress as I pray that you find refuge in God's mighty name in the authority of Jesus Christ. I break and nullify any spells, curses or manipulative schemes that may have been directed towards you. I claim the victory declared in Galatians 5 verse 1 for you. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourself be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. I declare may you stand firm in the freedom that is found only in God. I pray for discernment for you that you may recognize any subtle or overt attempts to manipulate your life through dark forces. I pray for a protective hedge around your body, mind and spirit. May the Lord guard your thoughts from the influence of any manipulative spells or enchantments. Let God's truth be a lamp unto your feet, eliminating the path and dispelling any darkness that may seek to cloud your judgment. In the powerful name of Jesus, I command any spiritual forces engaged in manipulating your life to seize their activity now. I declare that the blood of Jesus covers you and is a shield against weapons formed against you. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord release his angels to encamp around you. Let this heavenly beings be a formidable force against any spiritual attack or manipulations over your life. 
God's angels excel in strength and so I pray that they guard you against unseen dangers providing a wall of defense against the enemy's tactics. I pray for your spiritual armor as mentioned in Ephesians chapter 6 to be fully equipped and firmly in place. May you be clothed with the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of righteousness and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. May this armor render you impervious to the schemes of the enemy. I lift you who may be engaging in witchcraft praying for your hearts to be touched by God's love and truth. May you turn away from darkness and find light of Christ. May the angels of God break the chains that bind you to the forces of manipulation and open your eyes to the futility of such practices. I declare the victory belongs to God over your life in the name of Jesus. I take authority over every and any demonic influence associated with witchcraft and command it to leave your life. I pray for a supernatural cleansing and restoration of your spiritual and emotional well-being. I trust that God's hand is mighty to save you and I declare victory over any form of witchcraft manipulation in your life now in the name of Jesus. I come again as I bring you before the Lord seeking God's divine protection and deliverance for you against any form of witchcraft manipulation. 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 15 declares, For the battle is not yours but God's. I lift you into God's mighty hand, acknowledging that the battles you face are ultimately God's to fight. I declare God's promise over you that the battle is not yours but God's. I surrender your struggles, your fears and your uncertainties, even as you agree with me into God's sovereign care in the face of any witchcraft manipulation I trust in God's authority and power to overcome for you. He is the Almighty and no scheme of the enemy can stand against him. I invoke the truth of 1 John 4, 4 over you. You are from God and overcome. The one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. And so I pray that God empowers you with the awareness that his spirit within you is greater than any force of darkness outside. Let's this truth resonate in your heart, revealing and giving you confidence in God's victory in the name of Jesus. Also pray in the authority of that name, Jesus Christ, as I rebuke any witchcraft manipulation that may be affecting your life. His word in Colossians chapter 2 verse 15 declares that Jesus disarmed the powers and authorities, triumphing over them by the cross. I claim this victory for you, that every weapon formed against you through witchcraft is disarmed by the finished work of Christ on the cross in Jesus' name. I pray that you would be alert and of sober mind as instructed as 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8. The word warns us that the devil prowls like a roaring lion seeking to devour, but I stand against any devouring schemes targeted at you. May you stand firm in the strength of God's spirit, resisting the enemy's attempt to manipulate and control. I declare the truth of Galatians 5, 1 over you. It is for freedom that Christ has set you free. May the Lord break every yoke of bondage associated with witchcraft manipulation over your life. Let the freedom found in Christ be a reality in your life. May you walk in the liberty that comes from being a child of the Most High God in the name of Jesus. I pray for discernment for you. May God's Spirit grant you the ability to recognize any form of witchcraft manipulation and to stand against it with the authority given by Jesus Christ. Let your mind be guarded by the truth of God's word and may doubt and confusion be dispelled by the light of God's revelation. And in the authority, standing on the word in Deuteronomy 18, 10 to 12, I renounce and reject every form of divination, sorcery and witchcraft targeted at you. God's word warns against such practices and so I pray that you remain steadfast in your commitment to follow God's ways and seek God's protection. Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon forged against you will prevail. I claim this promise for you that no weapon of witchcraft manipulation will prosper against you. May the Lord vindicate you and shield you from the accusations 
and schemes of the enemy. May you find solace and strength in God's presence. May you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, as mentioned in Psalm 91 verses 1 and 2. Finding rest in the shadow of God Almighty's wings. May the Lord surround you with His angels, standing God against any spiritual attack. God's victory is your victory. And I pray that you experience the peace that surpasses all understanding, trusting in God's unfailing love and protection. Father, we thank you for answering us. And we bless your name in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. The Lord stands as your ultimate deliverer, a steadfast in every aid in moments of trouble. He rescues us from the clutches of adversary, serving as both our shield and a protector. His continuous assistance echoes in Psalm 46 verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Trust in the assurance of divine protection, for the Lord not only shields you, but actively intervenes on your behalf. And so in times of distress, draw upon his promises, finding solace in the unwavering truth that he is your ever-present refuge and deliverer from the hands of the enemies. And so I need you to join hands as we pray this prayer and believe that you will get the answer in Jesus' name. And so Lord, in the name of Jesus, we come before you as we bow before your throne of grace, seeking deliverance from the depths of our heart. In the name of Jesus, echoing Psalm 50 verse 15, resonating in the chambers of our supplication, we declare, Lord, we call upon you in the day of trouble. You said you would deliver us and you will honor us. Echoing Psalm 50 verse 15, as it resonates in the chambers of our supplication. Father, I declare, as your word says, call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. And so, oh, heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand lifting your name in reverence, that in the tempest of distress, as we call upon your name, Lord, trusting in the promise that you hear us, as we cry in the day of trouble, Lord, we declare that we will seek refuge in the shelter of your mercy, knowing that you are our deliverer. Lord God Almighty, we ask in this prayer of deliverance, we pray the words of Psalm 144 verses 7 and 8, and we plead, Lord God, reach down your hand from on high and deliver us and rescue us from the mighty waters, from the hands of foreigners whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful. In the face of overwhelming challenges, I cry out for your divine intervention, declaring upon everyone under the sound of my voice that's trusting your hand and your mighty merciful reach. Lord God Almighty, we ask that you lift us from the turbulent waters that seek to overwhelm. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that as they depend solely on your grace, that every area of their lives where they are allowed deceit and falsehood to take root with a contrite heart, Lord God, we are surrounding to your truth, seeking deliverance from the snares of deception that entangled us in the name of Jesus. And I rebuke every scheme of the enemy, every hand of deceitful forces that seek to bind and hinder their parts. Let God's truth be a light that exposes the truth. And may the power of the force be shattered by the authority of God's word. Father, I pray that God Almighty, as they acknowledge you, Lord God, as their rock, their fortress and their deliverer. And as it's been proclaimed in Psalm 18 verse 2, in the refuge of God's love, you may find solace. And so God, in the face of trials that surrounds them, may they take shelter in your unwavering protection, confident that you, God Almighty, you are the stronghold against every of their adversaries. In the realms of deliverance, Lord God Almighty, I declare that, Lord God, you hide them and guard them with their hand through the tumultuous waters. May your presence be a beacon of hope, dispelling the shadows of fear and uncertainty. 
I declare victory over every foreign force that opposes God's purpose for you. And I pray that your deliverance springs forth from God's mighty hand as you await the manifestation of God's power. I pray for the patience to choose to, to trust in God's perfect timing. And may the Lord strengthen your faith and grant you the patience to endure, knowing that his promises are true and your deliverance is sure. In the day of trouble, may you cling to God's word, confident that your cries reach God's ears. Let this prayer for deliverance be a sweet fragrance before you, Father God, as we plead that God Almighty, you draw near to our plea and your attention is fixed on us. May your deliverance bring not only freedom, but also a testimony that magnifies your glorious name in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in the presence of the Almighty, there is fullness of joy. And so Lord, I lift up everyone up, seeking deliverance with a full heart of faith and a spirit anchored in the promises of your word. As they embark on this prayerful journey with me, let the words of Psalm 40 verse 17 resonate within their beings. But as for you, you are poor and needy. May the Lord think of you. You are my help and my deliverer. You are my God, do not delay. In the refuge of God's love, I stand with you, recognizing your need for deliverance. And I declare with unwavering faith that may the Lord be your help and deliverer. In the moments of despair, may his divine intervention be swift and his mercy abundant. As I lift my voice, let the proclamation of Psalm 18 verse 2 be a fortress around you. The Lord is your rock, your fortress and your deliverer, your God and is your rock in whom you take refuge, your shield and the horn of your salvation, your stronghold. In the name of Jesus, I declare the power of this truth, acknowledging that in God, you will find strength and safety in the name of Jesus. I recognize the struggles and challenges you go through. As we come before God's throne of grace, I bring forth every burden, every chain that binds and every snare that entangles. In the authority of Jesus Christ's name, I break the bonds of darkness and declare freedom over you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord be your guide and light in the midst of darkness leading you out of the shadows of despair into the radiant light of his word. May his word be a lamp unto your feet, illuminating your path of deliverance that he has ordained for you. In moments of weakness, may the Lord strengthen your resolve. In times of confusion, may God grant you clarity and wisdom. Let the assurance of God's presence be a source of comfort. A reminder that you are not alone in this journey. I rebuke every force of darkness that seeks to hinder your deliverance, whether it be the chains of doubt, fear, or any form of oppression. I break them in the name of Jesus. The word declares that whom the Lord sets free is free indeed, and I claim this freedom over your life. May the angels of the Lord encamp around you, forming the shield against any spiritual assault. Guard your heart, mind, and spirit with God's divine protection. Let the peace that surpasses all understanding fill your heart as you trust in God's deliverance. I ask for a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the precious soul under the sound of my voice. Let it bring forth a renewal of strength, a revival of hope and a restoration of joy. The Lord's mercies are new every morning and I trust that this deliverance will be a testament of God's grace and faithfulness. And I seal this prayer with gratitude believing that God is at work even when we cannot see. May you experience the transformative power of God's deliverance, becoming a living testimony to God's unfailing love. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Evil projections are frequently likened to arrows carrying with them a symbolic potency. These arrows often unleashed by an unseen or inconspicuous sender traverse a meticulously plotted course, aiming to strike their intended target. The sender's strategy involves thorough study and mapping to ensure accuracy. At times, these evil projectiles are released indiscriminately, finding unsuspecting victims, particularly those lacking in prayerful defenses. The lethal nature of these evil projections manifest in swift and unforeseen consequences ranging from sudden deaths 
to intricate health complications. For you aligned with the divine as children of God, these arrows hold no sway. For you are temples of the Most High, positioned above principalities and powers. The protection derived from this divine affiliation shields you from the detrimental impact of evil projections. The assurance of divine elevation serves as an impenetrable defense against the arrows sent by evil forces, preserving the sanctity of your life and endeavors. And so, I would like to pray for you, particularly those who have been the target of evil arrows, particularly also for those that have suffered it not knowing because of the lifestyle that has to do with a low level of prayer. If you need that deliverance, please join me knowing that you are in Christ and your eyes of understanding has been enlightened and so you can speak to the arrows and they will return to the sender. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because we know you are our Father. Your word says no good thing would you withhold from us. It said we should call you in the day of trouble and you answer us and show us great and mighty things that we do not know of. And so God, I come seeking your divine protection from every evil arrows that may have been launched against everyone and anyone under the sound of my voice. Father God, as we go into your word, knowing that your word is the anchor on which we stand, Lord, we come and declare, bringing forth victory and safeguarding from the schemes of the enemy. Starting with Psalm 64 verses 7 and 8, we say, Lord, but God will shoot them with his arrows. They will suddenly be struck down. He will turn their own tongues against them and bring them to ruin. Lord, we stand upon the assurance of this promise in the mighty name of Jesus as we pray for the defense against any arrows of malice, slander or ham that may have been sent their ways. In the authority of Jesus' name, I ask that God you will return these arrows to their senders, causing them to fall harmless and powerless in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge that the enemy seeks to use the tongues of others to bring harm and chaos over people's lives. But as I stand in the presence of God, I declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you already have condemned it as it is written in Isaiah 54 verse 17. I speak a reversal of every negative word spoken over your life and declare God's protection over your reputation, relationships and well-being. As I continue to pray, I draw upon the words of Psalm 144 verse 6, send forth lightning and scatter the enemy, shoot your arrows and rout them. I invoke God's divine intervention, unleashing his lightning to scatter every force of darkness that surrounds you that have been dealt with by the enemy. Let the word of God and the arrows of his justice and righteousness rout out the plans of the adversary, rendering them ineffective and nullified by the power of God's mighty hand. In the name of Jesus, I command any evil arrows targeted at your heart, mind or body to be intercepted and disarmed. May the angels of God as ministering spirits stand guard around you in the name of Jesus. May they deflect every attack aimed at causing harm or hindrance. Let the shield of faith be raised high, extinguishing all the flaming arrows of the evil one in the name of Jesus. I trust in God's promise. From Psalm 91 verses 4 and 5, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you would find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rapid. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. I pray that you will find solace and protection beneath the shelter of God's winds. Let his faithfulness be your shield, guarding you from every attack visible or unseen. I declare a reversal of every curse or negative intention sent towards you. As I stand upon the authority of God's word, I command that every undeserved curse shall not come to rest. 
According to Proverbs 26 verse 2, instead let blessings and favor surround you like a shield as it is written in Psalm 5 verse 12, deflecting every arrow of misfortune and harm in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge the wicked may bend their bows and set the arrows against the righteous, but we take a refuge in God's word in Psalm 11 verses 2 and 3 the refuge of God's presence I lift you up to God in this prayer trusting in the promises of the scripture for look the wicked bend their bows they set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows of the upright in heart when the foundations are being destroyed what can the righteous do in this moment i declare that by the authority granted through jesus christ every arrow aimed at you will fall short for the foundations of your life are firmly anchored in the unwavering strength of our lord as the wicked may plot and scheme in the shadows seeking to harm the upright in heart i pray a divine reversal over every arrow sent your way just as the foundations of the building withstand the storms i declare that your foundations established in faith and righteousness remain unshakable in the name of Jesus, I return every evil arrow to its sender, nullifying its intended harm. May these arrows aimed at your heart and peace fall harmlessly to the ground. The shield of faith surrounds you, extinguishing every flaming arrow of the evil one. As we stand together in prayer, I ask for a divine covering over your life. May the Lord surround you with the impenetrable armor of his love and let the light of his truth dispel the darkness may the enemy's schemes be thwarted and may you walk in the victory secured through the blood of jesus christ as i declare that in the face of adversity you will not be shaking god's protection surrounds you and his angels are camp and camp around you the plans of the wicked are broken the arrows of harm are returned void may the peace that surpasses understanding god your heart and mind in christ in the name of jesus in the face of adversity i declare that the foundations of your life is built upon the rock of christ unshakable and unwavering the arrows of the enemy shall fall short for god's protection is a fortress that cannot be breached as we continue to pray i seek god's guidance and wisdom for you may the lord open your eyes to discern the subtle snares and traps set by the adversary may the holy spirit be their guide leading them away from the path of danger and into the light of God's truth. May the Lord surround you with godly counsel and support relationships that uplift and encourage in Jesus name. I declare victory over area of your life. May the Lord break every chain that binds you whether visible or invisible. May he release you from the grip of the evil one and let the power of the Holy Spirit transform every aspect that needs redemption in the name of Jesus. I cast out every spirit of darkness, oppression and confusion from your life. Let the light of God's truth shine brightly, bringing clarity and peace to your heart and mind. May the Lord grant you peace, dispelling any fear or anxiety that may have taken root in the name of Jesus. As I stand in confident assurance that the Lord is a mighty fortress, a refuge in times of trouble. The arrows of the enemy may be aimed, but they shall not find their mark. You are covered by God's grace, surrounded by God's angels, and protected by the power of God's word. May this prayer serve as a declaration of peace and joy over the schemes of the devil in your life, knowing that God is your protection and is always with you in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, because I know every arrow that has been sent has returned back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father for doing exceeding abundantly above all that we've asked or said, according to your power that is at work in us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You see, the Almighty operates with a divine pattern, shaping your life in alignment with his word. However, the adversary, being a master imitator, replicated this pattern to afflict God's children. The imposition of evil patterns represents a diabolical end-time agenda. Its sinister purpose is to obstruct the fulfillment of destinies and callings of God's children, introducing challenges that deviate from their intended parts in life. Recognizing this as a believer, you must stand a resilient as you are supposed to be, anchored 
in God's unwavering pardon to overcome the evil attempts to hinder your purpose and calling. This is why you should join me as I pray against evil patterns running in your family. Let us pray. I thank you, Father, for the gift of life and all your blessings upon your children in the name of Jesus. Lord, I remember that the, your word cannot be broken and through the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus, I stand and declare that I sever from any family part and negatively impacting life and destinies in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 107 verse 16, for he broke down their prison gates of bronze, he cut apart their bars of iron, every destructive family pattern holding your family captive. Today I declare these patterns broken down in the name of Jesus. I declare that the failures experienced by the generations before you would not be replicated in your life. I decree the destruction of any evil pattern associated with witchcraft in your family in the name of Jesus. I call for the liberation of your destiny from any strange family pattern according to Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 which says, So Christ has truly set us free. Now make sure that you stay free. I pray for the annihilation of every destructive family pattern including the ones related to marital failure in your family in the name of Jesus. May every evil pattern of death and tragedy within your family be dispersed by the purifying fire in the name of Jesus. Psalm 68 verse 2 says, Blow them away like smoke, melt them like wax in a fire. Let the wicked perish in the presence of God. According to Hebrews 2 verse 14, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil. And so I declare the demise by fire of every messenger of death operating within your family line as an evil pattern in the name of Jesus. I declare that every garment associated with evil family patterns hindering your divine goals to be replaced with the garments of patterns of joy and praise in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 61 verse 3 says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. And so I declare the expulsion of every pattern of non-achievement in your family affecting your life and destiny. For by Christ you can do all things according to Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. I decree the pulling down of every giant of almost there but never there in your family. In the name of Jesus. Through the Holy Ghost I command the consumption by fire of every evil pattern of poverty in your family. May every trace of poverty in your life perish as I declare it in the name of Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 says, Though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, so that by his poverty he could make you rich. I decree that your life and that of your family attract good patterns of prosperity and blessings. Deuteronomy 28 verse 6 says, Wherever you go and whatever you do, you will be blessed. I invoke the power of Jesus to break every pattern of chronic disease speaking in your life and operating in your family. I declare that the family pattern of infirmity in your family and your life shatters through the divine power of the Lord Jesus. For the word of God in Jeremiah 30, 17 says, I will give you back your health and heal your wounds, says the Lord. And so I disassociate your life and your families from every river of sadness, commanding it to dry up in Jesus' name. I decree an end to crying in your life and your family in the name of Jesus. Psalm 30 verse 5 says, Whipping me last though through the night, but joy comes in the morning. By the power in Jesus' name, every curse of disorder upon your family is broken. I pray for the manifestation of God's glory in your family. I declare that every family pattern of failure in your roots be perished in the name of Jesus. I wash away every deposit of failure in your family, speaking into your life and destiny by the blood of Jesus. And I link on to the word of God in Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 25. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you 
and you will be clean. Your filth will be washed away. And this is your promise in the name of Jesus. I dismantle every stronghold of sexual impurity in your family, decreeing its demolition in the name of Jesus. By the divine power of the Lord, I cast away every holder of sexual immorality that locks in your life and your family. I command every family pattern of adultery operating in it in the name of Jesus to crumble. I declare that the fire of the Holy Spirit quenches every satanic influence in your family in the name of Jesus. I declare the end of evil family pattern of destructive anger in your life that today it stops in the name of Jesus. I declare that it be replaced with kindness as in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another just as God through Christ has forgiven you. In the name of Jesus, I plead for deliverance from the spirit of ancestral anger, seeking freedom through the fruit of the Spirit in Jesus' name. By the omnipotent power of God and in the name of Jesus, I decree the demise of the satanic strong man of anger assigned to destroy your family as I declare that every seed of depression associated with your family is uprooted. I declare that the termination of every recurring family parting year after year in your life happens even now for the Lord is your inheritance according to Lamentation chapter 3 verse 24. By the mighty power of God, I shatter every destructive family pattern adversely, affecting the prosperity of your family in your life, seeking deliverance through Jesus. For according to Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19, the Lord is doing something new in your family. I come against every evil family pattern of failure, commanding its release over your family in the name of Jesus. The evil pattern that has ensnared your ancestors, rendering them ineffectual, is hereby commanded to release its grip on your family in the name of Jesus. For you are free as in John 8, 36. So if the sun sets you free, you are truly free. I decree the disruption of evil family pattern, orchestrating death at the point of success. This shall no longer prevail in your family. I decree the destruction of powers orchestrating evil patterns against your family. Evil autos where detrimental patterns are crafted for your family are dismantled today. In the name of Jesus, as I align with Psalm 11 verse 6, he will rain down blazing coals and burning sulfur on the wicked, punishing them with scorching winds. You are free and free indeed in the name of the most powerful name, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. The Lord instructs and equips you for battle, training your hands for warfare. He assumes the role of your divine warrior, fighting on your behalf, allowing you to experience peace. This resonates with Exodus 14:14. 14, 14. The Lord would fight for you, and you have only to be silent. As he imparts wisdom and skill for the battles you face, rest in the confidence that divine intervention ensures tranquility. Your role is to trust, standing in awe of one who not only teaches your hands to war, but also fights on your behalf, securing a serene peace in the midst of struggles. The Lord imparts skill to your hands for battle, guiding you in the art of war. He takes up the fight on your behalf, ensuring victory and you, in turn, will explain and experience tranquility. The divine instruction echoes in Psalm 144 verse 1. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Trust in the Lord's tutelage for he not only equips you, but actively engages in the battle, granting you the privilege of holding your peace while he secures triumph. Now embracing the training and finding solace in the peace bestowed by the Lord's victorious intervention is what you should inculcate. So let's join in this prayer as we trust God for peace and tranquility in our lives. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you acknowledging your sovereignty over the battles that assail your beloved children. Our victory is already assured 
because we know before we step into that battle, you already have given us victory. And so I stand on the precipice of uncertainty as I anchor the soul of everyone under the sound of my voice in the unwavering promises of God, guided by the words of Deuteronomy chapter 3 verse 22 that says, do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God himself will fight for you. And so in the name of Jesus, O Lord, in this sacred moment, I immerse everyone under the sound of my voice into your mighty presence, surrendering their fears and anxiety. And I speak to you, may you take solace in the assurance that the battles you face are not yours alone, but God's. May the almighty God who holds the universe in his hand fight on your behalf as you tread through the tempests of life's challenges I claim this victory and truth revealed in Exodus 14 verse 14 for you. The Lord will fight for you. You would only need to be still. In the stillness of this moment, I pray for you that you surrender your striving, your doubts and your weaknesses. I pray for you that you relinquish the burden of self-reliance for in the Lord's strength you shall find refuge. I pray for the discernment upon you to recognize the schemes of the enemy, the courage to stand firm in the face of adversity, and the wisdom to discern God's will in every circumstance. May the Lord strengthen your faith, and I pray that you may find solace in God's promises and unwavering trust in God's divine plan. May you come to the acknowledgement that you are not only in this spiritual warfare. The Lord goes before you as a pillar of fire by night, and a cloud by day leading you into the victory he has ordained for you. The word of God declares that you need only to be still and the Lord would fight for you. May the Lord grant you the grace to rest in his sovereignty, knowing that his perfect will shall prevail in the name of Jesus. In the battle of your life, where doubts assail and fear looms, I speak strength into you that you may lift up your eyes to God the author and finisher of your faith. May he empower you with the spirit that you stand strong against the onslaught of the adversary. May he clothe you in the armor of faith, righteousness and truth that you may withstand the fiery arrows aimed at your heart in the name of Jesus. I declare the promises of the Lord over your life echoing the truth of Deuteronomy 3.22. You shall choose not to be afraid. The almighty God fights on your behalf. With boldness I proclaim this truth over you, that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, for you are a child of the Most High God. And in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the schemes of the enemy, declaring victory over every spiritual attack. May the angels of God encamp around you, providing a hedge of protection against the forces of darkness. May the Lord grant you discernment to recognize the lies of the enemy and the strength to resist temptation in Jesus' name. As you navigate the challenges ahead, let the peace of the Lord which surpasses all understanding guard your heart and mind. I pray that you place your trust in God, acknowledging that his plans for you are plans for good and not for harm. I offer this prayer with a gratitude for God's faithfulness and confidence in God's unfailing love. In the name of Jesus, in the presence of the Almighty, I stand before you, O Lord, embracing the power of prayer as I am back on the spiritual journey that the enemy got nothing on everyone under the sound of my voice who believes in you as in the book of Psalm 18 verse 13 declares, you call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised and you were saved from your enemies. I declare you will call upon God and he will answer you and save you because he is your very present help in time of trouble. May you find refuge in the shadow of God's wings. You shall find solace and today I declare that the word of God as in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 that says the weapon we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. In the face of unseen adversaries, you shall stand firm in the name of Jesus, knowing that the strength you wield is not of this world, but is bestowed upon you by the Almighty. I lift you up, beloved child, before the throne of grace, as you journey through the intricacies of spiritual warfare, may the praise on your lips be a melody that resonates in the heavens. 
Let the declaration of Psalm 18.3 reverberate a testament to the unwavering faith that dwells within. I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised and I am saved from our enemies. And this I pray that the belt of truth surrounds you, empowering you to stand resolute against the lies of the adversary. May the breastplate of righteousness guard your heart, shielding you from the arrows of deceit that seek to piece the core of your being. May your feet be shod with the readiness of the gospel of peace, paving the way for a journey, guarded by the principles of love and compassion, taking up the shield of faith, beloved, that you may distinguish the fairy dart aimed at your soul. In the helmet of salvation, finds assurance of the eternal grace that encases your thoughts and mind, protecting them from the snares of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I declare, let strongholds crumble. Let the forces of darkness retreat in the face of divine power vested in you. May your prayerful words be like arrows of light piercing through the darkness that seeks to envelop your path in Jesus' name. In the authority of Christ, I bind and rebuke any force that opposes the divine purpose for you. I declare victory over the schemes of the adversary, trusting through Christ that you have the strength to overcome. May the angels of the Lord encamp around you, forming a mighty shield against any spiritual assault. As you journey through this prayerful battle, let the promises of God be a fortress, an unshakable refuge from which to declare victory over every challenge, visible or unseen. In the name of Jesus Christ, we wait this prayer of war, knowing that the battle is the Lord and we stand in the assurance of his unfailing love and victory. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. A breakthrough signifies progress, growth, promotion, elevation and noteworthy positive transformations. It encompasses advancements in various facets of life. The adversary seeks to hinder your progress, aiming to keep you in a state of stagnation and prevent the expected advancement. This is precisely when breakthroughs become essential. They are indispensable in every dimension of life. Urging you to push forward, ascend to greater heights and conquer obstacles hindering your path is what we are doing now. So in essence, breakthroughs serve as the catalyst for overcoming challenges and propelling you towards a more enriched and victorious existence. So let's pray knowing that you as a child of God, God intends that you progress. As I pray against stagnation for breakthrough, let's pray. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that we've come again thanking you for always hearing us as we pray. We know even before we pray that you have answered us. And so this is our confidence. As we pray for everyone and in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice, that you show them mercy. And so I declare, may the origin of oppression in your life wither away as its root and uprooted in the name of Jesus. Matthew 15 verse 13 says every plant not planted by my heavenly father would be uprooted and so I declare the swift termination of every rage from the enemy in the powerful name of Jesus. Psalm 37 verse 15 says but their swords would stab their own hearts and their bows would be broken. The wellspring of satanic forces celebrating against you dries up right now and instantly in the name of Jesus as I declare that the might and influence of the enemy rejoicing over your life also crumbles in the name of Jesus. I proclaim the paralysis of any force obstructing your progress by the authority in the name of Jesus. I decree divine solutions to your problems and your life challenges in line with Psalm 34 verse 19 that says, the righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. The premature joy of your adversary is curtailed even right now in the name of Jesus. Standing on Psalm 35 verse 19 says, Don't let my treacherous enemy rejoice over my defeat. Don't let those who hate me without cause gloat over my sorrow. I assert the termination of every satanic force rejoicing over your life and health even now in the name of Jesus. I declare today, 
the termination of all satanic influence over your business. As I decree the cessation of affliction and declare an end to the wickedness that surrounds you. As the psalm is proclaimed in Psalm 37 verse 13, but the Lord laughs at the wicked for he sees that his day is coming. I command the cessation of evil laughter and mockery in your situation in the name of Jesus. And I declare that the adversary preventing your breakthrough falls and perishes as stated in Psalm 37 verse 20, but the wicked would perish. The enemies of the Lord are like the glory of the pastures. They vanish like smoke, they vanish away. I invoke divine intervention to destroy every weapon of satanic rejoicing in your life in the name of Jesus. I decree the manifestation of breakthroughs through the power of the living God in the name of Jesus as I lift my eyes to the Lord, the glory and the lifter up of our heads and pray for a miraculous elevation over your life in the name of Jesus. I declare in alignment with Psalm 97 verse 5, the mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth that anything hindering you henceforth melts like wax in Jesus' name. And in the authority of Jesus' name, I declare the breaking of the yoke of embarrassment that has held you down, according to Isaiah 10, 27, which says, in that day, the Lord will end the bondage of his people. He will break the yoke of slavery and lift it from their shoulders. This is my proclamation over your life in the name of Jesus that the liberation from the yoke of terrible misfortunes invoking the power of the Holy Spirit to break it begins to happen in your life now. The word of God in Jeremiah 30 verse 8 says, For in that day, says the Lord of the heaven's armies, I will break the yoke from their necks and snap their chains. Foreigners will no longer be their masters. I therefore declare that any yoke of backwardness in your life is broken. The yoke of inadjucases is shattered in the name of Jesus, for you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. The yoke of repeated disappointment is broken over your life. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that the yoke of disgraceful frustration, as is written in Psalm 23 verse 4, is dismantled as you walk through the valley. And I will fear no evil, the word of God says, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I proclaim the breaking of the yoke of wicked embargo that restrains you. I declare the liberation from the yoke of horrible limitations over your life, according to Romans 8, 2, that says, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free. The yoke of manifestation postponement in your life is shattered in the name of Jesus, aligning with the word of God in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, for still the vision awaits in the appointed time. It hastens to the end. It will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. This is your portion, beloved, in the name of Jesus. As I pray also, Psalm 27 verse 14, this says, Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. I declare that the yoke of suffocating delay over you is loosed in the name of Jesus. The yoke of sudden stoppage of progress is dismantled as declared in Proverbs 4.12. When you walk, your step will not be hampered, and if you run, you will not stumble. Psalm 18 verse 21, for by you I can run through troops, and by God I can live over wall. And in the authority of Jesus' name, I declare the breaking of the yoke of slippery breakthrough over your life in the name of Jesus. I decree the manifestation of the power of God for a great turnaround in your life. Every shackle hindering your financial breakthrough is broken, aligning with Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. And my God will supply every need of your life according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I invoke the raising of your destiny helpers for your breaking forth as in Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 to 10. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. I decree the demise of every prince of Pasha delaying your breakthrough as it happened with Daniel. Every obstacle blocking your path to breakthrough is removed in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 43 verse 19 says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. 
do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I pray for the dominating power to break through and break forth in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54 verse 3 says, For thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left. This is your portion in the name of Jesus. Psalm 23 verse 5 says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I declare the defeat of every enemy standing against your breakthrough in Jesus' name. May an all-round breakthrough manifest in every aspect of your life and may showers of blessings rain into every area of your life in the powerful name of Jesus. I expel every demonic force that hinders your breakthrough. I pray guidance for you to dwell in the power and the authority of divine breakthrough in the name of Jesus as I declare again and again Isaiah 41 verse 10 fear not for I am with you be not dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you I will help you I will uphold you with my righteous right hand this is your privileged child of God receive it with thanksgiving as I know God has started a great thing in your life in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus we pray with thanksgiving Amen Optimal well-being creates an environment conducive for peace. The adversary with nothing positive to offer God's children seeks to wreak havoc by inflicting various illnesses and infirmities. A person in good health tends to experience greater happiness. Even mild health issues can impact on a person's productivity and an unwell individual is unlikely to find joy. The presence of unfamiliar illnesses brings unrest and hinders peace and joy. Moreover, such maladies can alter a person's life's trajectory, rendering them frail instead of strong. Regardless of the stubborn or demonic nature of an ailment, the Lord's promise, as stated in Psalm 34 verse 19, assures deliverance for the righteous. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. So join me and let's pray together in faith, knowing that Jesus intends to heal you. Let's pray in faith. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that I come before you, the throne of grace to obtain mercy even in a time of need. As I stand in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice, particularly those that have been going through infirmities and illnesses, Father, it is your name, Jesus, the captain of our soul and uh, the healer that is the bomb of Gilead that we've come with. And so I rebuke power seeking to end uh, everyone under the sound of my voice going through pain, uh, your life through sickness or disease. In the name of Jesus, your testimony shall be that you shall not die but you shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord as in Psalm 118 verse 17. Counsel every prolonged sickness and infirmity in your body. Right now I send forth the word and I declare you healed in the name of Jesus. Any force assigned to rob you of your health shall encounter frustration now in the name of Jesus. Job 5 12 says he frustrate the devices of the crafty so that their hands achieve no success. And so I declare healing upon you in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 30, 17 says, For oh, I will restore health to you, and your wounds I will heal, declares the Lord. I reject sickness and its manipulation in your life, invoking the authority of Jesus' name. Any illness attempting to create separation between you and God, I cast it out in the name of Jesus, and I declare the sickness and disease have no power over you. Any power opposing the restoration of your health through drugs or medication, it's destroyed in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are delivered from all forms of strange diseases or infections. I declare that the doctors will begin to see solutions to those strange diseases in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to your health, listen to the word of the Lord and be restored, aligning with Jeremiah 33 verse 6. Behold, I will bring to it health and healing, and I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. I call forth the healing hand of the Lord upon your body. 
for the Lord God is your healer according to Exodus 15 26 I declare every ancestral powers appearing in your dreams to attack your health be perished in the name of Jesus for no weapon that is formed against you shall succeed as I plead the blood of Jesus to hold the enemy's operations concerning your health in the name of Jesus Psalm 35 verse 8 says let destruction come upon him when he does not know it and let the net that he hid ensnare him let him fall into it to his destruction I declare that every evil plot against your health be consumed by divine fire in the name of Jesus the dwelling places of the wicked around you to attack you I command that they emerge and perish in the name of Jesus aligning with Psalm 37 verse 38 but transgressors shall be altogether destroyed the future of the wicked shall be cut off according to Deuteronomy 7 verse 15 and the Lord will take away from you all sickness I declare that your body rejects any unfamiliar sickness or disease in the name of Jesus I proclaim that whatever our Heavenly Father has not planted in your body be uprooted by the blood of Jesus aligning with Matthew 15 verse 13 every plant that my Heavenly Father has not planted will be rooted up I pray that your healing is reclaimed which the enemy is exploiting to afflict you in the name of Jesus and any evil hand intending to infuse sickness into your body wither and dry up in the name of Jesus I declare that you shall not be a victim of sickness I speak in 3 John chapter 1 verse 2 over you beloved I pray that all may go well with you that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul I speak to any sickness and infirmity in your body to leave you now I declare that the power of God uproot generational sickness from your life in the name of Jesus arrows of sickness originating from idolatry release the grip on you in the name of Jesus every power of darkness perpetuating sickness and influence be vanquished in the name of Jesus I declare that every recurring cycle of sickness and affliction from evil forces shatter I declare Isaiah 58 verse 8 over you then shall your light break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up speedily your righteousness shall go before you the glory of the Lord shall be your rare God any force assigned to trouble your health self-destruct in the name of Jesus I pray that you shall not use your mouth to speak sickness into your life in the name of Jesus I declare life upon you and pronounce destruction upon all your adversaries and their weapons against you in the name of Jesus I also declare that no illness shall have any claim over your life or obstruct your journey towards fulfilling your destiny according to the promise of the Lord in Psalm 103 verse 3 to eradicate and heal all your sickness and diseases and therefore reject them vehemently for you in the name of Jesus I renounce sickness and disease standing against them by the authority of Jesus name I declare and decree that every origin of infirmity within you be eradicated and consumed by the refining fire in Jesus name and any power of spirit that has introduced infirmity into your life I command that they meet their end in the name of Jesus I declare that the spirit of death evacuates its influence from your life because you are a child of the Most High and I bind and render ineffective every agent of infirmity aimed to attack your life I declare that any sickness transferred into your life through dreams be expelled in the name of Jesus every arrow of infirmity reverses curse according to Psalm 64 verse 8 they are brought to ruin with their own tongues and turned against them all who see them will whack their heads this is their portion in the name of Jesus I proclaim that any power projecting diseases into your body collapse and perishes in the name of Jesus according to Psalm 34 verse 21 affliction will slay the wicked and those who hate the righteous will be condemned and so I declare that no spirit power or personality shall be able to impose any sickness upon you because you are redeemed by the blood of the lamb as declared in Revelation 12 11 and they have conquered him by the blood of the lamb witchcraft affliction in your life is reduced to ashes in the name of Jesus as I declare that your body refuses to harbor any foreign sickness aligning with Psalm 91 verse 10 no evil shall be allowed to before you no plague come near your tent ancestral powers tormenting your life with sickness 
they lose their sanity and perish as the enemies of God. As it's written in Psalm 6, 8 verse 1, God shall arise, his enemies shall be scattered, and those who hate him shall flee before him. I declare healing to any part of your body that is afflicted to the glory of the name of Jesus, you are healed. As I align Jeremiah 30, 17 with this prayer, for I will restore health to you and your wounds I will heal, declares the Lord. So shall it be with you. Receive your healing in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. A breakthrough signifies progress, growth, promotion, elevation and noteworthy positive transformations. It encompasses advancements in various facets of life. The adversary seeks to hinder your progress, aiming to keep you in a state of stagnation and prevent the expected advancement. This is precisely when breakthroughs become essential. They are indispensable in every dimension of life. Urging you to push forward, ascend to greater heights and conquer obstacles hindering your path is what we are doing now. So in essence, breakthroughs serve as the catalyst for overcoming challenges and propelling you towards a more enriched and victorious existence. So let's pray knowing that you as a child of God, God intends that you progress. As I pray against stagnation for breakthrough, Let's pray. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that we've come again, thanking you for always hearing us as we pray. We know even before we pray that you have answered us. And so this is our confidence. As we pray for everyone and in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice, that you show them mercy. And so I declare, may the origin of oppression in your life wither away as its root and uprooted in the name of Jesus. Matthew 15 verse 13 says, every plant not planted by my heavenly father would be uprooted. And so I declare the swift termination of every rage from the enemy in the powerful name of Jesus. Psalm 37 verse 15 says, but their swords will stab their own hearts and their bows will be broken. The wellspring of satanic forces celebrating against you dries up right now and instantly in the name of Jesus. As I declare that the might and influence of the enemy rejoicing over your life also crumbles in the name of Jesus. I proclaim the paralysis of any force obstructing your progress by the authority in the name of Jesus. I decree divine solutions to your problems and your life challenges in line with Psalm 34 verse 19 that says, the righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. The premature joy of your adversary is curtailed even right now in the name of Jesus. Standing on Psalm 35 verse 19 says, Don't let my treacherous enemy rejoice over my defeat. Don't let those who hate me without cause gloat over my sorrow. I assert the termination of every satanic force rejoicing over your life and health even now in the name of Jesus. I declare today the termination of all satanic influence over your business as I decree the cessation of affliction and declare an end to the wickedness that surrounds you. As the psalm is proclaimed in Psalm 37 verse 13, but the Lord laughs at the wicked for he sees that his day is coming. I command the cessation of evil laughter and mockery in your situation in the name of Jesus. And I declare that the adversary preventing your breakthrough falls and perishes as stated in Psalm 37 verse 20, but the wicked would perish. The enemies of the Lord are like the glory of the pastures. They vanish like smoke, they vanish away. I invoke divine intervention to destroy every weapon of satanic rejoicing in your life in the name of Jesus. I decree the manifestation of breakthroughs through the power of the living God in the name of Jesus as I lift my eyes to the Lord, the glory and the lifter up of our heads and pray for a miraculous elevation over your life in the name of Jesus. I declare in alignment with Psalm 97 verse 5, the mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth that anything hindering you henceforth melts like wax in Jesus' name. 
And in the authority of Jesus' name, I declare the breaking of the yoke of embarrassment that has held you down, according to Isaiah 10, 27, which says, in that day the Lord will end the bondage of his people. He will break the yoke of slavery and lift it from their shoulders. This is my proclamation over your life in the name of Jesus, that the liberation from the yoke of terrible misfortunes invoking the power of the Holy Spirit to break it begins to happen in your life now. The word of God in Jeremiah 30 verse 8 says, For in that day, says the Lord of the heaven's armies, I will break the yoke from their necks and snap their chains. Foreigners will no longer be their masters. I therefore declare that any yoke of backwardness in your life is broken. The yoke of inadequacies is shattered in the name of Jesus, for you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. The yoke of repeated disappointment is broken over your life. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that the yoke of disgraceful frustration, as is written in Psalm 23 verse 4, is dismantled as you walk through the valley. And I will fear no evil, the word of God says, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I proclaim the breaking of the yoke of wicked embargo that restrains you. I declare the liberation from the yoke of horrible limitations over your life, according to Romans 8, 2, that says, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free. The yoke of manifestation postponement in your life is shattered in the name of Jesus, aligning with the word of God in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, for still this vision awaits in the appointed time. It hastens to the end. It will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. This is your portion, beloved, in the name of Jesus. As I pray also, Psalm 27, verse 14, this says, Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. I declare that the yoke of suffocating delay over you is loosed in the name of Jesus. The yoke of sudden stoppage of progress is dismantled as declared in Proverbs 4.12. When you walk, your step will not be hampered, and if you run, you will not stumble. Psalm 18 verse 21, for by you I can run through troops, and by God I can live over wall. And in the authority of Jesus' name, I declare the breaking of the yoke of slippery breakthrough over your life in the name of Jesus. I decree the manifestation of the power of God for a great turnaround in your life. Every shackle hindering your financial breakthrough is broken, aligning with Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. And my God will supply every need of your life according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I invoke the raising of your destiny helpers for your breaking forth as in Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 to 10. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. I decree the demise of every prince of Pasha delaying your breakthrough as it happened with Daniel. Every obstacle blocking your path to breakthrough is removed in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 43 verse 19 says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I pray for the dominating power to break through and break forth in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54 verse 3 says, For thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left. This is your portion in the name of Jesus. Psalm 23 verse 5 says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I declare the defeat of every enemy standing against your breakthrough in Jesus' name. May an all-round breakthrough manifest in every aspect of your life and may showers of blessings rain into every area of your life in the powerful name of Jesus. I expel every demonic force that hinders your breakthrough through. I pray guidance for you to dwell in the power and the authority of divine breakthrough in the name of Jesus as I declare again and again Isaiah 41 verse 10 fear not for I am with you be not dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you I will help you I will uphold you with my righteous right hand 
This is your privileged child of God. Receive it with thanksgiving. As I know God has started a great thing in your life. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. In this sacred space of prayer, let us lift our hearts together to the almighty God, drawing strength from the powerful promise found in 1 John 4, 4. As we embark on this spiritual journey, I pray that the words of the scripture become a shield against the schemes of the enemy over your life. So let us pray. Dear Father, I come before your throne in the mighty name of Jesus. And I come to receive grace, acknowledging your sovereign authority and the truth declared in 1 John 4, 4. As I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice, I declare that you may have a strong knowledge that you are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. In the assurance of this divine truth, I stand united with the Lord God Almighty against any force that seeks to sow discord, fear, or darkness in your life. I declare that the power residing in you through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit surpasses any influence that the adversary may attempt to wield. God's word affirms that the greater one, the Almighty, dwells within you, and therefore no force of darkness can withstand the radiance of God's divine presence. In the authority of Jesus Christ's name, I rebuke every scheme of the enemy that has sought to infiltrate your life and I declare that the chains of oppression are shattered and any foothold the devil may have sought to establish is dismantled by the victorious name of Jesus. May the Lord fill your heart and mind with the unwavering confidence that they are not alone in the spiritual battle, the very essence of his being. The creator of the universe resides within you. May this knowledge empower you to stand firm, clothed in the spiritual armor mentioned in Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 to 12. I declare that you are being equipped so that you resist the wiles of the enemy. In moments of doubt, may you be reminded that the authority given to you by Christ is not of this world. The power to overcome lies not in your own strength, but in the immeasurable might of the Holy Spirit working within you. As he illuminates your path with the light of God's truth, guiding you away from the snares set by the evil one, I pray that you may be vigilant, discerning the subtle whispers of the enemy, seeking to sow seeds of confusion, fear, or despair. May the Lord grant you a discerning spirit to recognize the tactics of the adversary and the wisdom to rebuke any lie that contradicts God's word. May the Lord fortify your mind against the onslaught of negative thoughts, anxieties, and temptation. May every thought be taken captive to the obedience of Christ, aligning with the truth that sets you free from the bondage of deception. As you stand on the premise of 1 John 4, 4, I declare victory over every area of your life. May the victory of Christ be manifest in your relationships, your work, your thoughts, and your spiritual walk. Let the presence of the Holy Spirit be a beacon of light dispelling any darkness that attempts to linger. I pray for a renewed sense of peace, joy, and purpose to permeate your life. Let the abundant life promised by Jesus in John 10.10 10, be realized in every area of your being. Lord, we thank you for the victory won on the cross as they trust in your word and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. I affirm over their lives that they are overcomers through Christ. May God's love surround you, casting out all fear and ushering in the freedom found in the knowledge that they are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I lift a prayer over your life, drawing strength from the powerful truths embedded in Matthew 4.10 and 1 Peter 5 verses 8 to 9. Let this prayer be a shield of faith as you stand together with everyone in agreement with me against the schemes of the enemy. I pray that you may heed the words of Matthew 4.10 where Jesus declared, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him alone. 
And at this moment, I declare with conviction and clarity that your allegiance belongs solely to the Lord. And I declare that the enemies knows that there is no room for compromise in your life in the name of Jesus. As you face the challenges of life, may the Holy Spirit empower you to stand firm against the deceiver. I invoke the spirit of resistance within you, drawing from 1 Peter 5 verses 8 and 9, which warns, be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him standing firm in the faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. And so in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every tactic and scheme of the enemy that seeks to devour your peace, joy, and well-being. I come against and resist the whispers of doubt, fear, and temptation that the adversary may try to instill in your heart and mind. Stand firm in the unwavering faith that our Lord Jesus Christ is your protector and your deliverer. I pray for a divine covering over your life. May the angels of the heaven encamp around you guarding against every onslaught and assault of the enemy. Let the light of your truth dispel, Lord God, the darkness that seeks to cloud their thoughts and emotions. May you, Lord God, strengthen their spiritual armor, fortifying them against the fiery arrows of doubt and despair as they navigate the journey ahead. May the all authority given to you through Jesus Christ be evident in every aspect of your life. May you boldly proclaim the victory of the cross recognizing that the one who is in you is greater than the force that may come against you. I pray for discernment and wisdom for you. May the Lord open your eyes to recognize the subtle snares and traps set by the adversary. May the Holy Spirit guide you in making choices that align with God's will, choices that lead to righteousness and peace. In the moments of weakness, may you find strength in God's word and in the premises that it holds up. Let Psalm 27 verse 1 resonate in your heart. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of your life. Of whom shall I be afraid? May the assurance of God's presence be a source of courage, dispelling all fear and anxiety. And in the name of Jesus, I cast out every spirit of darkness, oppression and confusion from your life. Let the light of God's truth shine brightly bringing clarity and peace to your heart and mind. May the Lord fill you with his love, joy, and a sound mind. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that this prayer and declaration of freedom and victory over the schemes of the devil in your life is answered with thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please, evil is real. And evil is everywhere. If you ask me, but there is something about the name of the Lord. The Bible says there's a strong tower and the righteous runs into it and is faith. The moment your home is under the spell of the enemy, just know that God can never share his glory with anyone. And so, if you have sensed that there is evil in your home, as a child of God, that is an abomination. But you can run back to God and put things straight. And doing that can only come by accepting Jesus and then praying this prayer with me, declaring that evil lives instantly in the name of Jesus. If you believe that God is willing to deliver your home from evil, then join me as we pray this prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart filled with gratitude for your unwavering love and protection over us all these while. We thank you because you've always been our God and you have never stopped from stretching out your hands in love for us. And Lord, we have come to you, Lord God Almighty, in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice that needs total deliverance from evil that seems to have taken hold and grip in their homes. As I lift them up, I declare in the name of Jesus that their homes after this prayer will be delivered in the name of Jesus. And so I lift up your home to God, recognizing that our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil. 
and in the authority of God's word, as is written in Psalm 91 verse 10, I declare this promise over your dwelling. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. I stand firm in the truth of Ephesians 6 verse 12, acknowledging the unseen battles the surround your home. I put on the full armor of God and with the sword of the spirit, which is God's word, I rebuke any darkness trying to infiltrate the peace within your home. May the spiritual forces of evil be scattered and may the angels of God encamp around your home, guarding it against every scheme of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I resist the devil according to James 4, 7, as we submit your home entirely to God. O oh Lord, acknowledging your sovereignty, I ask for your divine protection to envelope every room, corridor, and space within this home in the name of Jesus. May the power of the Holy Spirit fill every corner, dispelling any trace of fear or oppression. Let the light of God so shine brightly, banishing any darkness that may attempt to linger around your home in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for a hedge of divine protection, invoking the words of Psalm 91 verses 11 and 12, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. And in the name of Jesus, I pray the Lord dispatches his angels to stand guard over your home, ensuring safety and peace in every moment of that home's life. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the atmosphere within your home is saturated with God's presence. Let the love of Christ permeate every room, casting out any spirit of discord, strive or malevolence. May the Holy Spirit reign supreme, bringing a tangible sense of serenity and harmony to your house hold in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your home and your family. I declare that the blood of Christ serves as an impenetrable barrier against any form of evil or harm. Make his blood cleanse, protect and seal every entry point, leaving no room for the enemy to gain his foothold in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the assurance found in your word and we trust your promises of protection, knowing that you are faithful and true. May this home be a sanctuary of peace, love and joy, a place where God's presence dwells richly, dispelling any traits of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. I come before you, Lord, acknowledging your sovereignty and power over all things. Today, I lift up your home to God's divine protection. According to God's word in 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 3, that says, But the Lord is faithful, who shall establish you and keep you from evil. I also declare that no weapon formed against your household shall prosper. Your faithfulness is a shield to them, and I trust that your promise on failing is establishing and guarding their homes against the schemes of the evil one. I pray the Lord God Almighty that your presence goes through every hole of their homes. May you walk through securing their homes with your presence. Let your assurance of love and protection surround them like a shield. As I claim the wisdom of Proverbs chapter 3 verses 23 to 24 for their homes, that as they lie down to rest, fear shall not have any place in their heart. Lord God, I declare that may you grant sweet sleep to them, knowing that you watch over them and their homes. In the mighty name of Jesus, I resist the devil and his influences that may seek to enter their homes. James 4 verse 7 says, As they submit to your word and resist the adversary, I boldly resist any attempt of darkness that is trying to infiltrate their living space. May the power of the Holy Spirit prevail, pushing away any spiritual force that opposes God's light in their lives. I specifically pray for you under the sound of my voice before God that your concerns and challenges that you may be facing within your family home, you are delivered from them. As 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8 warns us of the adversary who prowls like a roaring lion seeking to devour, I stand in the gap for you asking for God's divine intervention against any spiritual attack. May the Lord your strength be your spiritual armor, enabling you to resist the enemy's schemes with unwavering faith. I pray for the atmosphere of your home to be filled 
with God's peace. May the presence of the Holy Spirit dispel in every darkness, anxiety, or fear. Let the light of God's truth illuminate every corner, bringing clarity and assurance to your heart and mind. I declare Isaiah 54 verse 7 over you and to your home affirming that no weapon formed against you. That will stand up. As you navigate the challenges of daily life, may you be grounded in God's word, finding solace and guidance in the scripture. I pray for a renewed sense of purpose and resilience, knowing that God is with you in every step of the way. Father, we thank you because you've done everything. We know that this home is rid of evil and any attempt by the enemy because of this stand in the name of Jesus, that enemy has no power or space to penetrate in the name of Jesus. The hedge has been protected and the enemy cannot bite it again. In the mighty and matchless name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Misfortune is real and it happens everywhere and I'm sure you have experienced it one way or the other. But there are those that misfortune has made a stronghold of their lives. And so God's intention for a believer is that misfortune would have no foothold in your home. The Bible says, why so downcast, O my soul, put your trust in God. And let me tell you, Psalm 42 verse 11 says, why so disturbed? Because there is a God in heaven that always is willing to hear our prayers. Is there any misfortune that you're going through or has been a pattern in your family or your children's life? Come and let's pray over it. As we know that there is a name that is above every other name, Jesus, that can put a stop to it. So join me as we pray against misfortune. Never again would you see it after this prayer in Jesus' name. Father, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I know it's not because of me, but because of him that has died, resurrected, and is seated with you, that has given me power to say to this mountain, be thou removed, and it is removed. And so, Lord, I stand in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice, knowing that you are the source of true comfort and solace. And so, Lord, I pray concerning everyone that is going through weariness that is weighing them heavy, and miseries that are seeking to destroy them. I declare the truth of Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 and 30 over their lives as I send the invitation that is in the word of God. Come to me all who are weary and burdened and I would give you rest. And so Lord I declare as they respond and draw near to you, may the burdens that weigh on their heart be lifted and as your gentle embrace of your love grants them rest in the name of Jesus, I declare that the yoke of sorrow be exchanged for the yoke of God's gentle and humble spirit. I pray against the overwhelming feelings that seek to engulf them. The one that has caused them sleepless night, may the peace that surpasses understanding flow over you, soothing every troubled thought and calming every storm within. In the midst of life challenges, I pray you anchor your soul in the hope found in God because you are the God who sees the brokenhearted and save those crushed in spirit, Lord. As I declare Psalm 34 verses 17 and 18 over them, I pray that Lord God, as they draw near to you, offering comfort you will give to them and strength in the name of Jesus. I pray that they receive your presence and feel as tangible as it is to everyone that knows you. Just as a shepherd cares for the well-being of each sheba, I declare that God Almighty, you make them experience your tender care. I pray over you that the Lord leads you beside still and quiet waters, restoring your soul, even in the darkest valley, every despair looming. I declare a fearlessness in your spirit as you trust God for the deliverance that is coming your way in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are casting every anxiety and every burden upon God as his peace that transcends all understanding is guarding your heart and your mind. 
the Lord is granting you the courage to release heavy weight and find solace in his unfailing love. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the grip of misery, declaring freedom and joy over your life. May the burdens of yesterday be replaced with the hope of tomorrow, and may you find strength anew in the promises of God's word. In the name of Jesus. In the presence of our compassionate and loving Father, I lift up a prayer over your life and declare as you draw strength and solace from the timeless words of Psalm 42 verse 11 and the comforting invitation of Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Oh, precious soul, if you find yourself in the depths of despair, I stand with you in the moment of prayer, seeking the tender embrace of our Savior. Let these words be a balm to your weary spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I quote the word of God in Psalm 42 verse 11 where it says, Why my soul are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. And this is my prayer over you, that you will find hope in the midst of this despair. I pray that the light of God's promises may pierce through the darkness surrounding you right now in the name of Jesus. As you come before God, burdened and tired, may you experience the rest that only God can provide. In the midst of life's struggle, may you lay down the heavy yoke of mystery at the feet of Jesus, and may you embrace a gentle and humble spirit, finding comfort in the arms of the one who understands your every burden. I pray that his peace envelops you, bringing a respite to your troubled soul in the name of Jesus. I pray for God's supernatural touch upon your life. May he heal the wounds of sorrow, lift the weight of despair, and infuse your heart with the peace that surpasses human understanding, replacing every tear with the joy that comes from trusting in God's steadfast love. I pray for you as you navigate the journey ahead. May you be reminded of God's promise in Psalm 23 verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for God is with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And I declare that the assurance of God's presence brings courage upon your life, dispelling the shadows of mystery. And in this moment of prayer, I declare victory over the grip of despair in your life. May you emerge from the death strengthened by the grace of our Lord and may the melody of his praise replace the symphony of the enemy's sorrow that is overwhelming you. I declare that every misfortune that has cost you pain over the years that the Spirit of God that has spoken through his word in Joel 22 verse 25 that you receive every lost years, every lost moment, every lost hours into your life in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord himself will replace for you every lost days. I declare that your misfortune are repaid back a hundredfold for you in the mighty name of Jesus. For your shame you receive double. For every pain the Lord God gives you a renewal of strength in the name of Jesus. May the comfort that God gives unto you become the anchor for you to help every other person that would go through the same period in the name of Jesus. I pray that no longer would you experience any misfortune, that the lie of the devil in your life that you have received over the truth of God in your life today, that every lie of the devil remains a lie and God's truth in your life is exalted above every lie in the name of Jesus. I pray that every misfortune that wants to take and perpetuate itself even into your family's life from now onward, you have brought it to an end. It stops with you. It will not go to the next generation of your life and your family in the name of Jesus. I declare that every misfortune in your business, the Lord restores to you. Every misfortune that has happened to you in your health, the Lord has restored you a great health like never before in the name of Jesus. As God gave the general, gave him a body of a baby, so it is with you that every misfortune that has come as a result of sicknesses and diseases, when people see you henceforth, they would wonder what newness has come upon you in the name of Jesus. I declare that no longer would you be afraid of the enemy's plans as he comes because you know the word of God. You will arise with the word of God and you will declare and you will have your freedom in the name of Jesus. I declare you free from every misfortune now and forevermore as you remain under the shadow of the Most High. In the name 
of Jesus, I pray. Amen. A breakthrough signifies progress, growth, promotion, elevation, and noteworthy positive transformations. It encompasses advancements in various facets of life. The adversary seeks to hinder your progress, aiming to keep you in a state of stagnation and prevent the expected advancement. This is precisely when breakthroughs become essential. They are indispensable in every dimension of life. Urging you to push forward, ascend to greater heights and conquer obstacles hindering your path is what we are doing now. So in essence, breakthroughs serve as the catalyst for overcoming challenges and propelling you towards a more enriched and victorious existence. So let's pray, knowing that you as a child of God, God intends that you progress. As I pray against stagnation for breakthrough, let's pray. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that we've come again, thanking you for always hearing us as we pray. We know even before we pray that you have answered us. And so this is our confidence that as we pray for everyone and in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice, that you will show them mercy. And so I declare, may the origin of oppression in your life wither away as its root and uprooted in the name of Jesus. Matthew 15 verse 13 says, every plant not planted by my heavenly father would be uprooted. And so I declare the swift termination of every rage from the enemy in the powerful name of Jesus. Psalm 37 verse 15 says, But their swords will stab their own hearts, and their bows will be broken. The wellspring of satanic forces celebrating against you dries up right now and instantly in the name of Jesus. As I declare that the might and influence of the enemy rejoicing over your life also crumbles in the name of Jesus. I proclaim the paralysis of any force obstructing your progress by the authority in the name of Jesus. I decree divine solutions to your problems and your life challenges in line with Psalm 34 verse 19 that says, the righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. The premature joy of your adversary is curtailed even right now in the name of Jesus. Standing on Psalm 35 verse 19 says, Don't let my treacherous enemy rejoice over my defeat. Don't let those who hate me without cause gloat over my sorrow. I assert the termination of every satanic force rejoicing over your life and health even now in the name of Jesus. I declare today, the termination of all satanic influence over your business. As I decree the cessation of affliction and declare an end to the wickedness that surrounds you. As the psalm is proclaimed in Psalm 37 verse 13, But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he sees that his day is coming. I command the cessation of evil laughter and mockery in your situation in the name of Jesus. And I declare that the adversary preventing your breakthrough falls and perishes as stated in Psalm 37 verse 20. But the wicked would perish. The enemies of the Lord are like the glory of the pastures. They vanish like smoke, they vanish away. I invoke divine intervention to destroy every weapon of satanic rejoicing in your life in the name of Jesus. I decree the manifestation of breakthroughs through the power of the living God in the name of Jesus as I lift my eyes to the Lord, the glory and the lifter up of our heads and pray for a miraculous elevation over your life in the name of Jesus. I declare in alignment with Psalm 97 verse 5, the mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth that anything hindering you henceforth melts like wax in Jesus name. And in the authority of Jesus' name, I declare the breaking of the yoke of embarrassment that has held you down according to Isaiah 10 27, which says, in that day, the Lord will end the bondage of his people. He will break the yoke of slavery and lift it from their shoulders. This is my proclamation over your life in the name of Jesus that the liberation from the yoke of terrible misfortunes invoking the power of the Holy Spirit to break it begins to happen in your life now. The word of God in Jeremiah 30 verse 8 says, For in that day, says the Lord of the heaven's armies, I will break the yoke from their necks and snap their chains 
Foreigners will no longer be their masters. Therefore declare that any yoke of backwardness in your life is broken. The yoke of inadequacies is shattered in the name of Jesus, for you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. The yoke of repeated disappointment is broken over your life. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that the yoke of disgraceful frustration, as is written in Psalm 23 verse 4, is dismantled as you walk through the valley. And I will fear no evil, the word of God says, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I proclaim the breaking of the yoke of wicked embargo that restrains you. I declare the liberation from the yoke of horrible limitations over your life, according to Romans 8, 2, that says, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free. The yoke of manifestation postponement in your life is shattered in the name of Jesus, aligning with the word of God in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. For still the vision awaits in the appointed time, it hastens to the end, it will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it, it will surely come, it will not delay. This is your portion, beloved, in the name of Jesus. As I pray also, Psalm 27 verse 14, this says, Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. I declare that the yoke of suffocating delay over you is loosed in the name of Jesus. The yoke of sudden stoppage of progress is dismantled as declared in Proverbs 4.12. When you walk, your step will not be hampered, and if you run, you will not stumble. Psalm 18 verse 21, for by you I can run through troops, and by God I can live over wall. And in the authority of Jesus' name, I declare the breaking of the yoke of slippery breakthrough over your life in the name of Jesus. I decree the manifestation of the power of God for a great turnaround in your life. Every shackle hindering your financial breakthrough is broken, aligning with Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. And my God will supply every need of your life according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I invoke the raising of your destiny helpers for your breaking forth as in Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 to 10. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. I decree the demise of every prince of Pasha delaying your breakthrough as it happened with Daniel. Every obstacle blocking your path to breakthrough is removed in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 43 verse 19 says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I pray for the dominating power to break through and break forth in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54 verse 3 says, For thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left. This is your portion in the name of Jesus. Psalm 23 verse 5 says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I declare the defeat of every enemy standing against your breakthrough in Jesus' name. May an all-round breakthrough manifest in every aspect of your life and may showers of blessings rain into every area of your life in the powerful name of Jesus. I expel every demonic force that hinders your breakthrough. I pray guidance for you to dwell and the power and the authority of divine breakthrough in the name of Jesus as I declare again and again Isaiah 41 verse 10 fear not for I am with you be not dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you I will help you I will uphold you with my righteous right hand this is your privileged child of God receive it with thanksgiving as I know God has started a great thing in your life in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus we pray with thanksgiving amen demons are real and their circle can be very stubborn when they latch on the life of a believer without knowledge they torture and torment but then knowing that your stand in Christ can determine their stain or not would help you do what you're supposed to do and that is why you are here with me as we pray against every demonic circle that seems to perpetuate itself over your life 
If you understand the weapons of warfare that you have, as written in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, you would use them in the name of Jesus, trusting him that from today, that cycle will break free from your life. And so if you are under that demonic cycle that seems nonstop, perpetuating its life from one generation of your family to the other, join me as you have accepted Jesus as we break together this demonic cycle. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that we've come to you. I stand even in intercession for everyone under the sound of my voice, knowing the Lord God there is power in agreement. I come before you acknowledging your sovereignty and authority over realms, every realm seen and unseen. I stand in the presence of your divine power, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, recognizing that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of darkness that seek to entangle and ensnare us. I come before you, Lord, lifting your name in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice. The Lord God will receive grace and protection over every cycle that is demonic, get into its root of everyone under the sign of my voice life. I declare the truth of Ephesians 6, 12 over them, affirming that the battle they face is not merely physical or earthly, but involves spiritual forces at work. And so Lord, may you grant unto them discernment to recognize the schemes of the enemy and the strength to stand firm in the truth. James 4, 7 reminds us to submit ourselves to you and resist the enemy. And so I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice, as they agree with my prayer, they will submit their hearts and their mind and soul entirely to you, seeking your guidance and surrendering any foothold the enemy may have gained. I declare that the Lord strengthen your resolve to resist the devil. May you draw near to God as the devil flees from you. I ask for God's divine intervention to break every chain of bondage that ties you to these demonic cycle. Let the light of God so shine into the darkest corners of your life, exposing and dispelling the works of the enemy. I pray for a release of God's mighty angels to guard and protect you from any harm or influence that seeks to hinder your spiritual journey. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 to 5, I claim the power of God's weapons to demolish strongholds in your life. May every thought contrary to God's truth be taken captive and made obedient to Christ. I speak freedom over your mind, heart, and spirit. May the Lord break the chains of negativity, fear, and deception that has bound you for long too in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 verses 10 and 11, God's word assures us that no harm will overtake you and his angel will guard you in all your ways. I pray this promise over you. Make his protective hand be upon you, shielding you from the attacks of the enemy. I rebuke any harm or disaster that seeks to come near your life firmly or your circumstances. In the name of Jesus. As it's written in Isaiah 54 verse 17, may you find confidence that no weapon formed against you henceforth will prevail. I declare the truth over you, trusting that God's divine intervention will render every demonic strategy powerless. I pray that the good Lord vindicates you and lets you walk in the heritage of his servants, free, redeemed, and victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Holy Spirit fill you with wisdom, courage, and discernment as you navigate the spiritual battlefield. May the Lord surround you with a community of believers who will uplift and support you in prayer and fellowship. I pray for you that your life is strengthened in faith and God's love be a beacon of light guiding you through the darkness. I thank you, Father, for your faithfulness and your mercy over this one's lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I lift my voice on their behalf, dear Lord, and I say the words of this prayer echo the promises woven in your word according to Psalm 34 verses 17 and 18 and Isaiah 54 verse 17 I bring Lord God this once before your throne of grace with humble hearts seeking refuge in the shelter of your divine embrace Lord God as the righteous cries out to you hear them today I stand in the gap for them 
trusting in your unfailing love and boundless mercy whatever they may be facing as challenger and seem insurmountable caught in the throes of demonic cycle the seek to ensnare and oppress them i declare the psalm 34 verses 17 and 18 is over them affirming the lord god you are attentive to their cry as they pour out their hearts before you lord may your comfort and presence surround them like a shoulder in the moments of despair lord draw near to them as they draw near to you lord i stand upon the promise of isaiah 54 verse 17 who declares that no weapon formed against them shall prosper and any tongue that rises up in judgment against them is condemned i pray lord god almighty that they remain empowered with the assurance that they are clothed in the armor of your righteousness. Lord, I thank you because you are breaking the chains of darkness that seek to bind them, for your authority is supreme. And I pray for a divine intervention in their life by the authority bestowed upon us through Christ as I rebuke any demonic force attempted to establish circles or fear, despair, or bondage over their lives. Pray that the word of God penetrates the depth of their soul, dismantling strongholds and casting out every spirit that does not align with God's life. I declare the transformation over the minds. May every thought be taken captive to the obedience of Christ, aligning with the truth of God's word as they break the patterns of negativity, doubt and self-condemnation that the enemy seeks to perpetrate in their lives. I thank you, Lord, because you're replacing with them with the thoughts of hope, faith, and understanding of their identity in Christ. I intercede, I say, Lord, God Almighty, let peace which surpasses all understanding guard their hearts and their minds. I declare over your life the freedom that comes from surrendering your will to God. I pray the Lord redeems, restores, and renews you in the name of Jesus as I rebuke any generation of curses or chains that may have bound your family line by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ and in that name I declare you are broken free from every ancestral link to darkness and open pathway to the glorious light of God's salvation I declare as I release the ministering angels that they surround you offering protection and guidance of God's grace even now in your life in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, because the cycle of oppression is permanently shattered because their eyes are open to the revelation of your knowledge, making way for a new season of freedom, joy, and divine purpose. It is in Jesus' name that I pray with thanksgiving because it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. As we gather in prayer, let us reflect upon this profound truth that on the day of judgment, every tongue that stands against us will face condemnation. The Lord, our ultimate vindicator, promises to fight on our behalf against every lying tongue that schemes to bring about our downfall. We find assurance in the unwavering truth that prevails despite the deceptive plans laid against us. Drawing inspiration from the scriptures, we turn to Psalm 31 verse 20 which declares, You hide them in the shelter of your presence, save from those who conspire against them. You shall shelter them in your presence, far from accusing tongues. In the sacred moment of prayer, we seek refuge in the divine shelter of God's presence, trusting that his protection shows us from the harm plotted by the sinful tongues. Psalm 64 verse 8 resonates with the conviction that those who devise evil and speak falsehood will ultimately stumble in their own schemes. Let us stand firm in the face of every falsehood guided by the powerful truth that God's justice prevails and his light exposes every lie. And so may this prayer be a shield against every lying tongue, finding strength in the promises of God's word and seeking refuge in his unwavering presence. And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, I come before your throne of grace on behalf of your beloved child, seeking your divine protection and guidance in the name of Jesus. Your word is spoken in Proverbs 6 verses 16 to 19 tell us that there are six things you hate, seven that are detestful to you. And the first among them is a lying tongue. I lift up your life, dear beloved, to God asking for his shield against the deceitful words that may be spoken against you. 
And in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare every lying and tongue seeking to harm you shall be silenced by the power of God's truth. His word is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path, as written in Psalm 119 verses 105. And I pray that his light will expose any falsehood woven in the plans formed against you. May the purity and honesty found in God's word be a protective barrier guarding you from the schemes of those who would seek to deceive. Lord, you have also said in Proverbs 6 verse 19 that you detest a person who stares of conflict in the community. I pray against any evil plans or schemes devised to bring harm or discord into your life. I rebuke every plot of the enemy, whether heeding or manifest, seeking to disrupt the peace and well-being of your life. May the peace that surpasses all understanding, according to Philippians chapter 4 verse 7, surround them, shielding you from the turmoil that deceitful plants may attempt to stir up. I invoke the word of God in Psalm 34 verse 13. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies. May the Lord empower you to walk in righteousness, guarding your own words and thoughts. Let the Holy Spirit be a constant guide, prompting you to speak words of truth and integrity strengthening your resolve to resist any temptation to engage in dishonesty, ensuring that your tongue remains a source of blessing rather than harm in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for discernment for you to recognize any deceptive schemes or manipulative plans that may be directed against you. May the Lord grant you wisdom to navigate through the intricate webs of falsehood, uncovering the truth with clarity and precision. May the light of God's truth expose every getting agenda aimed at a causing calm to you in the name of Jesus. In the face of adversity, I pray you find refuge in God's presence and his promises of Psalm 9 to 1 verse 4. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you would find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. May you take shelter under the wings of God's faithfulness, finding strength and protection against any deceitful onslaught. I pray that God's divine intervention will thwart every evil plan against you breaking the chains of deception and exposing the lies meant to harm you. Let God's truth prevail in every situation, bringing forth justice and vindication for you. As I place your life in God's hand, trusting that his watchful eye sees every challenge and threat. May you experience the peace that comes from knowing that God is your protector and in the authority of Jesus. I pray, I come before you, Lord which is your throne of grace with a heart burdened by the weight of deceit and malicious intentions that your people carry. Your word in Psalm 31 verse 20 assures us that you hide them in the shelter of your presence, safe from those who conspire against them. You shelter them in your presence far from accusing tongues. I lift them up before the Lord, seeking the refuge and protection promised in your scriptures. As they navigate the intricate pathways of life, may Lord God Almighty shield you from the arrows of a lion tongue. May he grant you the comfort of his shelter, the heaven where deceit cannot penetrate. May God's divine presence envelope you, keeping you secure from the schemes of those who will plot harm against you. Let the truth of Psalm 31 verse 20 be a fortress around you, a place of safety and solace. In the face of falsehood and deceitful tongues, I declare the words of Psalm 64 verse 8 over you. They were made to stumble, their own tongues work against them. All who see them will shake their heads in scorn. May the Lord expose lies woven against you and let the perpetrators stumble in their own deceit. May their tongues which plot evil turn against them, causing their sinister plans to crumble. I pray and I place the lies spoken against you at the foot of God's throne. He is the ultimate judge as I trust in his justice. May the truth prevail shining brightly to dispel the darkness of falsehood. May the Lord guard your reputation, Lord, and let integrity be your shield in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord grants you discernment to see through the webs of deception 
May the Holy Spirit be your guide, revealing the truth and leading them in the path of righteousness. May He strengthen your spirit, allowing them to stand firm against the onslaught of lies with unwavering faith in God's truth. As they face the challenges brought by those with evil intentions, may they find strength in your assurance, Lord God, as written in Psalm 64 verse 8. Lord, let their trust be in you and may it remain unshakable, knowing that those who devise evil will ultimately stumble in their own schemes. In the name of Jesus, I intercede for those that are going through emotional well-being, for the weight of false accusation can be heavy. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that you lift their spirits and replace any anxiety with the peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord, grant them resilience in the face of adversity and the courage to rise above the deceitful tongues. In the powerful and comforting name of Jesus, I pray for divine intervention, protection and justice for them. Lord, may your truth prevail and may they experience the fullness of your grace and love, even in the midst of challenges. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, the conqueror, I pray. Amen. Misfortune is real and it happens everywhere and I'm sure you have experienced it one way or the other. But there are those that misfortune has made a stronghold of their lives. And so God's intention for a believer is that misfortune would have no foothold in your home. The Bible says, Why so downcast, O my soul, put your trust in God? And let me tell you, Psalm 42 verse 11 says, Why so disturbed? Because there is a God in heaven that always is willing to hear our prayers. Is there any misfortune that you're going through or has been a pattern in your family or your children's life? Come and let's pray over it. As we know that there is a name that is above every other name, Jesus, that can put a stop to it. So join me as we pray against misfortune. Never again would you see it after this prayer in Jesus' name. Father, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I know it's not because of me, but because of him that has died, resurrected, and is seated with you, that has given me power to say to this mountain, be thou removed, and it is removed. And so, Lord, I stand in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice, knowing that you are the source of true comfort and solace. And so, Lord, I pray concerning everyone that is going through weariness that is weighing them heavy and miseries that are seeking to destroy them. I declare the truth of Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 and 30 over their lives as I send the invitation that is in the word of God. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I would give you rest. And so, Lord, I declare as they respond and draw near to you, may the burdens that weigh on their heart be lifted, and as your gentle embrace of your love grants them rest in the name of Jesus, I declare that the yoke of sorrow be exchanged for the yoke of God's gentle and humble spirit. I pray against the overwhelming feelings that seek to engulf them. The one that has caused them sleepless night. May the peace that surpasses understanding flow over you, soothing every troubled thought and calming every storm within. In the midst of life's challenges, I pray you anchor your soul in the hope found in God because you are the God who sees the brokenhearted and save those crushed in spirit, Lord. As I declare Psalm 34 verses 17 and 18 over them, I pray that Lord God, as they draw near to you, offering comfort you will give to them and strength in the name of Jesus. I pray that they receive your presence and feel as tangible as it is to everyone that knows you. Just as a shepherd cares for the well-being of each sheba, I declare that God Almighty, you make them experience your tender care. I pray over you that the Lord leads you beside still and quiet waters, restoring your soul, even in the darkest valley, every despair looming 
I declare a fearlessness in your spirit as you trust God for the deliverance that is coming your way in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are casting every anxiety and every burden upon God as his peace that transcends all understanding is guarding your heart and your mind. The Lord is granting you the courage to release heavy weight and find solace in his unfailing love. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the grip of misery, declaring freedom and joy over your life. May the burdens of yesterday be replaced with the hope of tomorrow, and may you find strength anew in the promises of God's word. In the name of Jesus, in the presence of our compassionate and loving Father, I lift up a prayer over your life. I declare as you draw strength and solace from the timeless words of Psalm 42 verse 11 and the comforting invitation of Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Oh, precious soul, if you find yourself in the depths of despair, I stand with you in the moment of prayer, seeking the tender embrace of our Savior. Let these words be a balm to your weary spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I quote the word of God in Psalm 42 verse 11 where it says, why my soul are you downcast why so disturbed within me put your hope in god for i will yet praise him my savior and my god and this is my prayer over you that you will find hope in the midst of this despair i pray that the light of god's promises may pierce through the darkness surrounding you right now in the name of jesus as you come before God burdened and tired, may you experience the rest that only God can provide. In the midst of life's struggle, may you lay down the heavy yoke of mystery at the feet of Jesus and may you embrace a gentle and humble spirit, finding comfort in the arms of the one who understands your every burden. I pray that his peace envelops you, bringing a respite to your troubled soul in the name of Jesus. I pray for God's supernatural touch upon your life may he heal the wounds of sorrow lift the weight of despair and infuse your heart with the peace that surpasses human understanding replacing every tear with the joy that comes from trusting in god's steadfast love i pray for you as you navigate the journey ahead may you be reminded of god's promise in psalm 23 verse 4 even though i walk through the darkest valley i will fear no evil for god is with me your rod and your staff they comfort me and I declare that the assurance of God's presence brings courage upon your life, dispelling the shadows of mystery. And in this moment of prayer, I declare victory over the grip of despair in your life. May you emerge from the death strengthened by the grace of our Lord. And may the melody of his praise replace the symphony of the enemy's sorrow that is overwhelming you. I declare that every misfortune that has cost you pain over the years, that the Spirit of God that has spoken through His Word in Joel 22 verse 25, that you receive every lost years, every lost moment, every lost hours into your life in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord Himself will replace for you every lost days. I declare that your misfortunes are repaid back a hundredfold for you in the mighty name of Jesus. For your shame you receive double. For every pain the Lord God gives you a renewal of strength in the name of Jesus. May the comfort that God gives unto you become the anchor for you to help every other person that would go through the same period in the name of Jesus. I pray that no longer would you experience any misfortune that the lie of the devil in your life that you have received over the truth of God in your life today, that every lie of the devil remains a lie and God's truth in your life is exalted above every lie in the name of Jesus. I pray that every misfortune that wants to take and perpetuate itself even into your family's life from now onward, you have brought it to an end. It stops with you. It will not go to the next generation of your life and your family in the name of Jesus. I declare that every misfortune in your business, the Lord restores to you. Every misfortune that has happened to you in your health, the Lord has restored you a great health like never before in the name of Jesus as God gave the general gave him a body of a baby so it is with you that every misfortune that has come as a result of sicknesses and diseases when people see you henceforth they would wonder what newness has come upon you in the name of Jesus I declare that no longer would you be afraid of the enemy's plants 
as he comes because you know the word of God. You will arise with the word of God and you will declare and you will have your freedom in the name of Jesus. I declare you free from every misfortune now and forevermore as you remain under the shadow of the Most High. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Evil projections are frequently likened to arrows carrying with them a symbolic potency. These arrows often unleashed by an unseen or inconspicuous sender traverse a meticulously plotted course, aiming to strike their intended target. The sender's strategy involves thorough study and mapping to ensure accuracy. At times, these evil projectiles are released indiscriminately, finding unsuspecting victims, particularly those lacking in prayerful defenses. The lethal nature of these evil projections manifest in swift and unforeseen consequences, ranging from sudden deaths to intricate health complications. For you aligned with the divine as children of God, these arrows hold no sway. For you are temples of the Most High, positioned above principalities and powers. The protection derived from this divine affiliation shields you from the detrimental impact of evil projections. The assurance of divine elevation serves as an impenetrable defense against the arrows sent by evil forces, preserving the sanctity of your life and endeavors. And so, I would like to pray for you, particularly those who have been the target of evil arrows, particularly also for those that have suffered it, not knowing because of the lifestyle that has to do with a low level of prayer. If you need that deliverance, please join me knowing that you are in Christ and your eyes of understanding has been enlightened and so you can speak to the arrows and they will return to the sender. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because we know you are our Father. Your word says no good thing would you withhold from us. It said we shall call you in the day of trouble and you answer us and show us great and mighty things that we do not know of. And so God, I come seeking your divine protection from every evil arrows that may have been launched against everyone and anyone under the sound of my voice. Father God, as we go into your word, knowing that your word is the anchor on which we stand, Lord, we come and declare bringing forth victory and safeguarding from the schemes of the enemy. Starting with Psalm 64 verses 7 and 8, we say, Lord, but God will shoot them with his arrows. They will suddenly be struck down. He will turn their own tongues against them and bring them to ruin. Lord, we stand upon the assurance of this promise in the mighty name of Jesus as we pray for the defense against any arrows of malice, slander or ham that may have been sent their ways. In the authority of Jesus' name, I ask that God you will return these arrows to their senders, causing them to fall harmless and powerless in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge that the enemy seeks to use the tongues of others to bring harm and chaos over people's lives. But as I stand in the presence of God, I declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you already have condemned it as it is written in Isaiah 54 verse 17. I speak a reversal of every negative word spoken over your life and declare God's protection over your reputation, relationships and well-being. As I continue to pray, I draw upon the words of Psalm 144 verse 6, send forth lightning and scatter the enemy, shoot your arrows and rout them. I invoke God's divine intervention, unleashing his lightning to scatter every force of darkness that surrounds you that have been dealt with by the enemy. Let the word of God and the arrows of his justice and righteousness rout out the plans of the adversary, rendering them ineffective and nullified by the power of God's mighty hand. In the name of Jesus, I command any evil arrows targeted at your heart, mind or body 
to be intercepted and disarmed. May the angels of God as ministering spirits stand guard around you in the name of Jesus. May they deflect every attack aimed at causing harm or hindrance. Let the shield of faith be raised high, extinguishing all the flaming arrows of the evil one in the name of Jesus. I trust in God's promise. From Psalm 91 verses 4 and 5, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you would find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and wrapper. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. I pray that you will find solace and protection beneath the shelter of God's winds. Let his faithfulness be your shield, guarding you from every attack visible or unseen. I declare a reversal of every curse or negative intention sent towards you. As I stand upon the authority of God's word, I command that every undeserved curse shall not come to rest. According to Proverbs 26 verse 2, instead let blessings and favor surround you like a shield as it is written in Psalm 5 verse 12, deflecting every arrow of misfortune and harm in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge the wicked may bend their bows and set the arrows against the righteous, but we take a refuge in God's word in Psalm 11 verses 2 and 3, the refuge of God's presence. I lift you up to God in this prayer, trusting in the promises of the scripture. For look, the wicked bend their bows, they set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows are the upright in heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? In this moment, I declare that by the authority granted through Jesus Christ, every arrow aimed at you will fall short for the foundations of your life are firmly anchored in the unwavering strength of our Lord. As the wicked may plot and scheme in the shadows, seeking to harm the upright in heart, I pray a divine reversal over every arrow sent your way. Just as the foundations of the building withstand the storms, I declare that your foundations established in faith and righteousness remain unshakable. In the name of Jesus, I return every evil arrow to its sender, nullifying its intended harm. May these arrows aimed at your heart and peace fall harmlessly to the ground. The shield of faith surrounds you, extinguishing every flaming arrow of the evil one. As we stand together in prayer, I ask for a divine covering over your life. May the Lord surround you with the impenetrable armor of his love and let the light of his truth Dispel the darkness. May the enemy's schemes be thwarted and may you walk in the victory secured through the blood of Jesus Christ. As I declare that in the face of adversity, you will not be shaking. God's protection surrounds you and his angels are camp encamp around you. The plans of the wicked are broken. The arrows of harm are returned void. May the peace that surpasses understanding God, your heart and mind in Christ in the name of Jesus. In the face of adversity, I declare that the foundations of your life is built upon the rock of Christ, unshakable and unwavering. The arrows of the enemy shall fall short for God's protection is a fortress that cannot be breached. As we continue to pray, I seek God's guidance and wisdom for you. May the Lord open your eyes to discern the subtle snares and traps set by the adversary. May the Holy Spirit be their guide, leading them away from the path of danger and into the light of God's truth. May the Lord surround you with godly counsel and support relationships that uplift and encourage in Jesus name. I declare victory over area of your life. May the Lord break every chain that binds you whether visible or invisible. May he release you from the grip of the evil one and let the power of the Holy Spirit transform every aspect that needs redemption in the name of Jesus. I cast out every spirit of darkness, oppression and confusion from your life. Let the light of God's truth shine brightly, bringing clarity and peace to your heart and mind. May the Lord grant you peace, dispelling any fear or anxiety that may have taken root in the name of Jesus. As I stand in confident assurance that the Lord is a mighty fortress, a refuge in times of trouble. The arrows of the enemy may be aimed, but they shall not find their mark. 
You are covered by God's grace, surrounded by God's angels, and protected by the power of God's word. May this prayer serve as a declaration of peace and joy over the schemes of the devil in your life, knowing that God is your protection and is always with you in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, because I know every arrow that has been sent has returned back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for doing exceeding abundantly above all that we've asked or said, according to your power that is at work in us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Bondages wield immense destructive power acting as invisible chains that ensnare individuals in various negative ways. Malevolent forces adeptly employ these claims and chains to inflict enduring delays and sorrow, effectively imprisoning their victims. Spiritual captivity spells disaster, robbing individuals of freedom from relentless attacks and paralyzing their destinies. These chains wielded by wicked powers aim to stifle any attempts at progress growing more severe with each effort. For a Christian, however, bondage possesses a great threat, hindering blessings and plunging individuals or entire families into prolonged struggles with prosperity. However, the redeeming grace of Christ offers liberation from these chains of bondage. As Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17 declares, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And so in the comment section, I encourage you to proclaim, Every bondage holding me in any area of my life breaks loose in the name of Jesus. Before we pray, I'd like to encourage you to consider giving this video a thumbs up as it aids others in understanding its significance. Moreover, I extend a heartfelt welcome to those who are new here. I am sure the Lord has orchestrated your presence as part of his plan to meet your need for deliverance. I invite you to subscribe to this channel to receive notifications of upcoming prayers. So let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for yet another day to come before you. Thank you for in your presence there is freedom. I lift up everyone who is in bondage in fervent prayer. Your word says in Psalm 147 verses 7 and 8 that he will uphold the cause of the oppressed giving food to the hungry, setting prisoners free, giving sight to the blind, lifting up those who are bowed down and loving the righteous. Today, I stand on these promises as we see God's divine intervention for your deliverance from the bonds that may be holding you captive. I declare Psalm 146 verses 78 over you, trusting in God's unfailing love and power to bring liberation. You are not forgotten in the midst of struggles, for you have a God who cares deeply for the oppressed. So I lift up any areas in your life where you feel imprisoned, whether it be in your mind, emotions, relationships, or circumstances. May God's divine intervention break every chain and bring forth freedom and restoration over your life in the name of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, I speak against any forces of darkness that seek to bind you. God's word assures you that he set prisoners free. And I claim that freedom for you, whether the bondage is rooted in fear, sin, addiction, or any other form of oppression. I declare that the light of God pierces through the darkness, bringing liberty and release. I pray for the spirit of the sovereign Lord to move mightily into your life, just as Isaiah chapter 6 to 1 verse 1 proclaims, I anoint you with the oil of gladness, binding up the brokenhearted and proclaiming freedom for the captives. May the Holy Spirit bring comfort, healing, and a profound sense of God's presence, dismantling the chains that have hindered your walk in joy and peace. As I invoke God's presence, 
as I cling also to 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 declaring that where the Spirit of the Lord is there is freedom and so I invite God's transformative power into your life may the Lord breathe upon you bringing liberty to areas where they have felt bound by circumstances habits or past hurts let the wind of God's freedom blow away every residue of captivity, leaving you refreshed and renewed. I pray for a revelation of God's plans for you. As mentioned in Jeremiah 29, 11, may you experience the hope and future that God has ordained for you, free from the shackles of doubt and despair. I declare that God's plans are for your welfare, not for evil, and that you will walk in the abundance of His grace. I release God's angels to encamp around you, as written in Psalm 34, verse 7, guarding you against any schemes of the enemy. God's protection is a shield, and I trust that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. May the Lord break the chains of fear, anxiety, and uncertainty that may have taken root in your heart, replacing them with a peace that surpasses all understanding. I thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and mercy as I surrender these ones into your loving hands. Confident that you, God Almighty, your deliverance is at hand. May they experience the freedom and victory that come through an intimate relationship with you, dear Father. In the powerful name of Jesus, I pray, I come before you, Father, recognizing the power of your word and the promises you have bestowed upon us. In the midst of the struggles and chains that bind, I lift everyone up to you with unwavering faith, dear Father believing in your deliverance according to psalm 107 verse 14 i declare that god is the one who brings you out of darkness the outer darkness and breaks away the chains that entangles you his mighty hand is not limited by the bonds that may have held you captive i envision those chains being shattered now in the name of jesus for god's power is greater than any force that seeks to imprison you in the name of jesus i claim the truth of john 8 36 over your life jesus christ is the liberator and where he sets free there is true freedom i declare this freedom over you believing that you will experience the profound liberation that comes from being set free by the son jesus christ as i am back on this prayer journey i pray for god's grace to surround you let god's mercy be a shield protecting you from the weight of the bondage that you have been experiencing i pray for a supernatural intervention a divine breakthrough that dismantles every chain every stronghold that hinders your freedom for jesus came to proclaim liberty to the captive as it's written in isaiah 61 verse 1 and so i proclaim and i take this promise for you in the name of jesus you are released from the darkness that binds your heart and mind may the lord bring light into the areas where you feel trapped and let the truth of god's word permeate your soul i speak against every force that seeks to keep you in bondage whether it be fear addiction doubt or any other stronghold i declare that god's power is greater his word says in galatians 5 verse 1 it is for freedom that christ has set us free stand firm then and do not let yourself be burdened again by the yoke of slavery i pray that you stand firm in the freedom god has provided and refuse to be burdened by the chains of the past may the holy spirit move in your life breaking down every barrier that separates you from the fullness of god's freedom may he fill you with his love joy and peace extinguishing the darkness that has lingered for too long god's spirit is a mighty force and our acts that it sweeps through your heart and soul bringing forth a transformation that testify to God's glory in the shelter of God's presence I find solace and so I know that God is your rock fortress and deliverer as declared in Psalm 18 verse 2 may the Lord uphold you with his strength and provide a refuge where you can find safety and peace may the Lord shield you from the attacks of the enemy and fortify your spirit with the assurance that he is in control I trust in the plans of God over your life, plans for welfare and not evil as stated in Jeremiah 29 11. Let everyone that is under the sound of my voice see hope and future, Lord God that you have designed for them. 
Remove any doubt or discouragement that may hinder their lives and believe in the freedom you offer. I thank you, Lord, for the privilege of lifting them before your throne. And I believe in your faithfulness and your ability to break every chain that has held them bound in the name of Jesus. And I declare over your life, may your testimony be of God's miraculous deliverance. And may you walk in the fullness of the freedom that only God can provide. Father, we thank you for the miraculous freedom thank you because souls of other men will see their lives and be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ I pray Amen good day everyone today we'll be praying against the spirit of delay but first let's grasp some fundamental truths about God God's desire for each of his children is to live a life of dominion and supernatural abundance. He doesn't intend for anyone to live a tail life. His plan is for you to thrive and to excel. Delay is not a characteristic of God. While he may withhold certain things to protect us, he doesn't deny his children their rightful blessings. We witness this in the story of Hannah in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 4 to 6, and chapter 2, verse 21, where God's time improved perfect. Moreover, God is always punctual. He's never late. The account of Jesus delaying to heal Lazarus in John 11, verses 1 to 46, demonstrate his deliberate timing to reveal his power over death. I encourage you, to have un an unwavering faith in God, for with him, nothing is impossible. This is written also in Luke chapter 1, verse 37. As we proceed to pray, please consider liking this video to help others discover its value. If you are new here, welcome. It's no coincidence, God orchestrated your presence to help you overcome delays. So feel free to subscribe for more prayers tailored for you on this channel. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I come before you with thanksgiving because you always hear our prayers. I thank you for giving your children the privilege of knowing you. Thank you for your mercies and love over their lives. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, I declare that every force of delay obstructing the progress of everyone under the sound of my voice is today destroyed in the name of Jesus. I call upon the righteous anger of the Lord to consume every barrier hindering your advancement. I invite the Holy Spirit's overshadowing presence to accelerate your journey towards success and fulfillment. According to Psalm 143 verse 10, teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. And so I reject and renounce every form of delay imposed upon your life in Jesus' name. I declare that you are propelled to your distinct place of glory, breaking down ancient barriers in the name of Jesus. I decree the destruction of every witchcraft stronghold, obstructing your breakthrough, and I refuse stagnation and claim progression over your life as mentioned in Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. The Lord will make you the head, not the tail. You will always be at the top and never at the bottom. I bind every stronghold assigned to hinder your advancement in the name of Jesus. I call upon angelic hosts to remove every stumbling block on your path to promotion in Jesus' name. According to Psalm 34 verse 7, for the angel of the Lord is a God. He surrounds and defends all who fear him. So I pray that you are bestowed with the power to overcome every force opposing your elevation, rendering failure and setback powerless in your life. Every demonic opposition in your journey, I declare that they are disrupted in the name of Jesus. Aligning with the, with the promise of Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon formed against you will prevail and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. May every spirit of misfortune in your life from today be extinguished in the name of Jesus. 
and every individual collaborating with evil forces to hinder your progress. I declare confusion in their midst right now in the name of Jesus. I declare that every assembly of demonic entities scheming against your elevation be engulfed in the flame of divine retribution in the name of Jesus. I claim divine favor and promotion in every aspect of your life. As stated in Psalm 5 verse 12, For surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. I sever and release you from every generational curse of delay through the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare every foundational strong man hindering your advancement is obliterated in the name of Jesus. I command every evil scheme cause and delay to be uprooted from your life. I reject and cast off every influence of demonic delay obstructing your progress as it is written in Isaiah 45 verse 2 I will go before you and I will level the mountains I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron I declare that every gate of hindrance erected by your ancestry be sealed shut by the flames of divine intervention in the name of Jesus I decree an end to the spirit of failure and delay impeding your advancement as affirmed in Isaiah 9 verse 4 for you will break the yoke of their slavery and lift the heavy burden from their shoulders you will break the oppressor's rod just as you did when you destroyed the army of Midian every incantation and divination plotted against your advancement be engulfed by the blood in the name of Jesus I pray that the purifying flames of the Holy Spirit consume every spell curse and enchantment crafted to hinder your life According to Isaiah 47 verse 14, Behold, they shall be a stubble, the fire shall burn them, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. I declare that every curse as strong as iron aimed at obstructing your destiny is shattered into fragments in the name of Jesus. I declare that force fostering setbacks and delays in your life perish in the name of Jesus. Every demonic manipulation seeking to obscure your glory be consumed by the fairy presence of the Lord. Anything impeding your possession of rightful blessings be eradicated. Every evil eye fixed on hindering your progress be blinded by the light of God's truth. I declare that you advance boldly by the refining flames of God's presence in the mighty name of Jesus. As affirmed in Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5, For I, saith the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about and will be the glory in the midst of her. Lord Jesus, I extend heartfelt gratitude to you for the fulfillment of my prayer requests. According to Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And so I stand firm against the spirit of delay that seeks to hinder everyone's progress and destiny. The word of God says in Exodus chapter 23 verse 27, I will send my terror ahead of you and create panic among all the people whose hands you invade. I will make all your enemies turn and run. I claim this promise over your life declaring that every force of delay opposing your advancement shall be thrown into confusion and defeated by the mighty hand of the Lord. I reject every assignment of delay orchestrated by the enemy over your life and I declare that the divine timing and purposes of the Lord will prevail in your life in the name of Jesus. I renounce any agreement or alliance you have had with the forces of darkness that have contributed to the delays in your life and I sever every ungodly soul tie and connection just as you have received Jesus in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I command every spirit of delay operating in your life to be bound and cast out into the armies, never to return in the name of Jesus. I dismantle every stronghold and hindrance erected by the enemy to store your progress and destiny fulfillment in the name of Jesus. I declare you are set free from the grip of delay. And I step into the fullness of God's timing. I declare we step together by faith knowing that Jesus had done for you what you agree upon in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for always hearing and delivering us in the name of Jesus. Amen. God's intention for your life is upward and forward, marked by growth and progress. 
It takes no pleasure in seeing you trapped or stagnant with years passing by without tangible advancement. That's why we're praying against stagnation. God desires your well-being and wants you to flourish as expressed in 3 John 2. While the enemy seeks to hold people back, God's mission is to uplift and propel them forward. To demonstrate his stance against stagnation, God sent Jesus to bear our sins, limitations, and curses. Jesus bore our sins, our stagnation on the cross, exchanging it for speed and progress in life. Through Jesus' sacrifice, the Father by the Holy Spirit has the authority to liberate you from stagnation in Jesus' name. You possess a right purchased by the blood of Jesus to be free from the stagnation and to experience rapid progress and advancement in life. When you understand this, or if you believe this, let me invite you to declare in the comments, I am truly free. Stagnation has no place in my life. As we move to pray, I encourage you to consider giving this video a thumbs up to assist others in recognizing its worth. If you're joining us from the for the first time, welcome. Your presence here is not by chance. It's part of God's plan to aid you in overcoming those things that have kept you at a place. Don't hesitate to subscribe for additional prayers specifically designed for you on this channel. Let us pray. Dear Father, I thank you for the sacrifice of your dear son, Jesus Christ, on the cross paying the price for the freedom of your children from stagnation according to Romans chapter 8 verse 2 for the law of the spirit of life has set us free in Christ Jesus I embrace what you accomplish for every one of us and so thank you Lord for your beloved children as they can look to the enemy and tell him with confidence that through Christ's death burial and resurrection they have been granted the right to freedom a legal entitlement to be liberated from stagnation in the powerful name of jesus i command stagnation to depart from your life spirit of stagnation setback and limitation leaves you now in jesus name according to psalm 18 verse 45 the strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places I claim your release from stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I render useless every force, power and influence that has kept you immobilized with no progress. In Jesus name, I invoke the power of God against the demon of stagnation that has kept you bound by the power of God through the power that raised Jesus from the dead. I declare your deliverance and claim your victory. I pray that you receive your redemption from stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ. According to Ezekiel chapter 36 verses 29 to 30, I will also save you from all your uncleanness and I will call for the corn and will increase and lay no farming upon you. I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the increase of the field that they shall receive no more reproach of farming among the heathen. I command progress, speed and acceleration into your life and endeavors in the name of Jesus. Based on the word of God, I call for progress, increase and growth through the power of God in the name of Jesus. As Isaiah 40, 31 promises, but they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. In the name of Jesus, I declare a total freedom for you, leaving no aspect untouched. According to Exodus chapter 10 verse 26 a, there shall not an hoof be left behind. I declare that you are completely liberated from stagnation and its grip. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for restoration and compensation by faith and the power of God in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord embosses you for all the lost years and time you have spent in one place. I pray that you receive double for your shame in a with the word of God in Isaiah 61 verse 7. Instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion. And instead of disgrace, you will receive your inheritance. I pray that the Lord restores and renews your strength 
granting you the ability to soar like an eagle as promised in Isaiah 40 31 but those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength they will soar high on wings as eagles they will run and not grow weary they will walk and not faint I pray that you are endowed with the grace to make strides that defy human understanding achieving in one year what would normally take a decade by the Lord's divine empowerment in the name of Jesus I declare that time is compressed for your sake in Jesus name I declare that you are showered with grace for extraordinary achievements in every aspect of your life I declare that your life becomes a testimony of progress speed and acceleration by the mighty power of our Lord Jesus Christ I pray that your testimony gets to the extent that those who knew you previously would not recognize you a year from now due to the remarkable progress you have made through the Spirit of God. I declare that your life is adorned abundantly with the grace of the Father, transforming you into a marvel to many in Jesus' name. I declare that you fully and completely restore all the years, time, assets and fortunes everyone under the sound of my voice is lost through the spirit of grace and holiness in the mighty name of Jesus I reject the status of in insignificance in your life I refuse confinement and limitation in your life according to Isaiah 60 verse 22 a little one shall become a thousand and a small one a strong nation I the Lord will hasten it in his time and by the power of the Holy Spirit I pray that you break through barriers surpassing human calculation and satanic constraints in the name of Jesus. I declare that you reclaim, recapture and obtain all that is rightfully yours. I invoke and embrace the grace for acceleration, the ability to swiftly accomplish tasks, fulfill purposes and achieve greatness in your life all in the name of Jesus. I believe and receive that which was once stagnant in your life is now beginning to flow as promised in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. I decree that the principle of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus is in operation within every facet of your life. Whether it be your properties, interests, career or any endeavor you undertake. Just as Romans 8 verse 2 declares, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. I affirm that this law of life brings about productivity, growth and prosperity in all your pursuits. In Jesus' name, by the divine power of God and in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that you are endowed with creativity, ingenuity and excellence. I declare that you approach tasks with a fresh perspective leading to remarkable outcomes and testimonies in alignment with Exodus chapter 31 verse 3. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God and with wisdom, with understanding, with knowledge, with all kinds of skills. Henceforth, every endeavor you undertake flourishes abundantly for the breath of the Almighty rests upon you and the work of your hands. As stated in Job chapter 3 verse 4, the Spirit of God has made me the breath of the Almighty gives me life. I declare that you walk in the blessings of Abraham, experiencing divine favor and prosperity in every aspect of your life. According to Psalm 1 verse 3, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season and his live also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. I decree that your hands are blessed your mind is blessed and everything you engage in is blessed with increase, progress, peace and prosperity. As promised in Genesis 12 verse 2, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I declare Isaiah 58 verse 11 over you. The Lord will guide you continually, giving you water when you are dry and restoring your strength. You will be like a watered garden, like an ever-flowing spring. Father, we thank you because restoration is here. There is a continuous blessing that flows for everyone that has accepted and agreed with me in this prayer. For it is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Needs are essential elements crucial for maintaining a peaceful and healthy lifestyle. It 
can be disheartening when individuals are unable to fulfill their needs, leading to depression, immoral behavior, and even thoughts of suicide. Hence, it is imperative to pray for God's provision even before needs arise. I want you to feel free to share in the comment section the areas where you need the Lord's provision and let's join in praying, trusting that God will meet you at the very point of your needs. The scripture gives an assurance of God's willingness to meet your needs abundantly. Ephesians 3.20 affirms that God can exceed your expectations, while 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 21 reminds you to trust in the living God who generously provides all things for your enjoyment. So before proceeding, don't forget to like this video so as to show its value to others and a warm welcome to newcomers. Your presence here is purposeful. The Lord definitely wants your needs to be met. Consider subscribing to the channel for more prayers. In times of need, it's crucial to cast aside fear, anxiety, worry, and doubt. James 1 verse 6 encourages us to ask in faith without doubting, and Hebrews 11 6 underscores the importance of faith in pleasing God and receiving His rewards. As we pray, let's hold on to faith, believing that God will indeed supply all our needs with unwavering faith. Let's continue in prayer. Dear Father, I thank you for the miracle of life bestowed on upon your children. Blessed be your name in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your unwavering faithfulness and mercy upon your children and their families, acknowledging your preservation throughout the years. I give you all the glory as stated in Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Father, I pray that you reveal your mercy and provide for all their needs according to your riches in glory. In the name of Jesus, as declared in Philippians 4 verse 19, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus, I declare that lack and want be eradicated completely from your life and replaced with a divine abundance. In the name of Jesus, Deuteronomy 28.11 says the Lord will grant you abundant prosperity concerning all the projects you desire to carry out. I pray for adequate provision to carry them out in the name of Jesus. In alignment with 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, and God is able to bless you abundantly, that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. I decree that every aspect of creation shall align to bring forth blessings in every area of your life, as stated in Romans 8 28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him who have been called according to his purpose for any instances of carelessness and wastefulness with the divine provisions bestowed upon you and your family i seek the forgiveness as we agree an intervention of the father over you in accordance with psalm 103 verses 10 to 12 he does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities for as high as the heavens are above the earth so great is his love to those who fear him as far as the east is from the west so far has he removed our transgressions from us i declare that every satanic hindrance against your supernatural provisions be dismantled in the name of jesus every obstruction to your breakthrough to divine provision is demolished in the mighty name of jesus in matters concerning your academics and career, I pray that the Lord provides for your needs, ensuring that you lack no good thing in achieving your goals in the name of Jesus. Psalm 34 verse 10 says, those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. I pray for divine connections with your destiny helpers who will generously support your projects and aspirations in the name of Jesus. I pray that they will swiftly locate you 
I pray that the Lord will provide abundantly for your family members needs ensuring none of them would ever have to beg for survival or endure lack in the name of Jesus. I command every force of darkness hindering your financial blessings be exposed in the name of Jesus as I declare judgment swiftly overtaking every altar of darkness perpetrating lack and poverty in your life in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 9 verse 16, the Lord is known by his acts of justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. I declare that poverty is not your portion. For Christ bore poverty so that I may experience abundance. And so according to 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for our sake he became poor, so that through his poverty we might become rich. I declare that your enemies watching you to see you beg for help shall be put to shame in Jesus' name. Psalm 14 verse 14 says, May all who want to take my life be put to shame and confusion. May all who desire my ruin be turned back in disgrace. I decree a release of financial blessings into your life, commanding money to flow towards you as it is needed in the name of Jesus. I rebuke all efforts of hell to subject you and your family to a life of poverty, trusting in Psalm 34 verse 15. The righteous cries out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. May any negative influences contributing to your financial struggles be eradicated from your life in Jesus' name. I renounce every poverty mindset that limits your financial progress, asking for divine revelation to overcome you in accordance with 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. I declare an end to the cycle of poverty in your life and your family's life, invoking the power of the blood of Jesus as stated in Zechariah chapter 9 11. As for you, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I will free your prisoners from the waterless pit. I pray that you receive divine assistance to settle all your financial obligations, decreeing an end to lack and disgrace in your household in the name of Jesus. I discard every garment of shame and disgrace and I declare that you are attired in the robes of abundance and provision from the Lord in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 61 verse 10 says, I delight greatly in the Lord and my soul rejoices in my God for he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in the robe of his righteousness. I reject indebtedness in your life, trusting in God's provision to meet all your needs. As proclaimed in Psalm 23 verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. May you receive a grace to cultivate and nurture fruitful relationships that lead to financial abundance and stability. I pray that you will be attuned to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, avoiding missed opportunities for blessings in the name of Jesus. In accordance with John 16, 13, and the Spirit of Truth will guide you into all truth. He will not speak of his own. He will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come. I decree that none of your endeavors shall be abandoned, claiming a double portion of restoration in Jesus' name over your life. As promised in Isaiah 61 verse 7, instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion and instead of disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance and you will inherit a double portion in your land and everlasting joy will be yours. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory because you are not a God that lies. Thanking you, Lord God, for a breakthrough that has already been manifested. We receive it with thanksgiving and with joy in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Bondages wield immense destructive power, acting as invisible chains that ensnare individuals in various negative ways. Malevolent forces adeptly employ these claims and chains to inflict enduring delays and sorrow, effectively imprisoning their victims. Spiritual captivity spells disaster, robbing individuals of freedom from relentless attacks and paralyzing their destinies. 
These chains wielded by wicked powers aim to stifle any attempts at progress growing more severe with each effort. For a Christian, however, bondage possesses a great threat, hindering blessings and plunging individuals or entire families into prolonged struggles with prosperity. However, the redeeming grace of Christ offers liberation from these chains of bondage. As Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17 declares, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And so in the comment section, I encourage you to proclaim, Every bondage holding me in any area of my life breaks loose in the name of Jesus. Before we pray, I'd like to encourage you to consider giving this video a thumbs up as it aids others in understanding its significance. Moreover, I extend a heartfelt welcome to those who are new here. I am sure the Lord has orchestrated your presence as part of his plan to meet your need for deliverance. I invite you to subscribe to this channel to receive notifications of upcoming prayers. So let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for yet another day to come before you. Thank you for in your presence there is freedom. I lift up everyone who is in bondage in fervent prayer. Your word says in Psalm 147 verses 7 and 8 that he will uphold the cause of the oppressed giving food to the hungry, setting prisoners free, giving sight to the blind, lifting up those who are bowed down and loving the righteous. Today, I stand on these promises as we see God's divine intervention for your deliverance from the bonds that may be holding you captive. I declare Psalm 146 verses 78 over you, trusting in God's unfailing love and power to bring liberation. You are not forgotten in the midst of struggles, for you have a God who cares deeply for the oppressed. So I lift up any areas in your life where you feel imprisoned, whether it be in your mind, emotions, relationships, or circumstances. May God's divine intervention break every chain and bring forth freedom and restoration over your life in the name of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, I speak against any forces of darkness that seek to bind you. God's word assures you that he set prisoners free. And I claim that freedom for you, whether the bondage is rooted in fear, sin, addiction, or any other form of oppression. I declare that the light of God pierces through the darkness, bringing liberty and release. I pray for the spirit of the sovereign Lord to move mightily into your life, just as Isaiah chapter 6 to 1 verse 1 proclaims, I anoint you with the oil of gladness, binding up the brokenhearted and proclaiming freedom for the captives. May the Holy Spirit bring comfort, healing, and a profound sense of God's presence, dismantling the chains that have hindered your walk in joy and peace. As I invoke God's presence, as I cling also to 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17, declaring that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And so I invite God's transformative power into your life. May the Lord breathe upon you, bringing liberty to areas where they have felt bound by circumstances, habits, or past hurts. Let the wind of God's freedom blow away every residue of captivity, leaving you refreshed and renewed. I pray for a revelation of God's plans for you. As mentioned in Jeremiah 29, 11, may you experience the hope and future that God has ordained for you, free from the shackles of doubt and despair. I declare that God's plans are for your welfare, not for evil, and that you will walk in the abundance of His grace. I release God's angels to encamp around you, as written in Psalm 34, verse 7, guarding you against any schemes of the enemy. God's protection is a shield, and I trust that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. May the Lord break the chains of fear, anxiety, and uncertainty that may have taken root in your heart, replacing them with a peace that surpasses all understanding. I thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and mercy as I surrender these ones into your loving hands. Confident that you, God Almighty, your deliverance is at hand. May they experience the freedom and victory that come 
through an intimate relationship with you dear father in the powerful name of Jesus I pray I come before you father recognizing the power of your word and the promises you have bestowed upon us in the midst of the struggles and chains that bind I lift everyone up to you with unwavering faith dear father believing in your deliverance according to Psalm 107 verse 14 I declare that God is the one who brings you out of darkness the altar darkness and breaks away the chains that entangles you his mighty hand is not limited by the bonds that may have held you captive I envision those chains been shattered now in the name of Jesus for God's power is greater than any force that seeks to imprison you in the name of Jesus I claim the truth of John 8 36 over your life Jesus Christ is the liberator and where he sets free there is true freedom I declare this freedom over you believing that you will experience the profound liberation that comes from being set free by the Son Jesus Christ as I am back on this prayer journey I pray for God's grace to surround you let God's mercy be a shield protecting you from the weight of the bondage that you have been experiencing I pray for a supernatural intervention a divine breakthrough that dismantles every chain every stronghold that hinders your freedom for Jesus came to proclaim liberty to the captive as it's written in Isaiah 61 verse 1 and so I proclaim and I take this promise for you in the name of Jesus you are released from the darkness that binds your heart and mind may the Lord bring light into the areas where you feel trapped and let the truth of God's word permeate your soul I speak against every force that seeks to keep you in bondage whether it be fear addiction doubt or any other stronghold I declare that God's power is greater his word says in Galatians 5 verse 1 it is for freedom that Christ has set us free stand firm then and do not let yourself be burdened again by the yoke of slavery I pray that you stand firm in the freedom God has provided and refuse to be burdened by the chains of the past may the Holy Spirit move in your life breaking down every barrier that separates you from the fullness of God's freedom may he fill you with his love joy and peace extinguishing the darkness that has lingered for too long God's Spirit is a mighty force and our acts that it sweeps through your heart and soul bringing forth a transformation that testify to God's glory in the shelter of God's presence I find solace and so I know that God is your rock fortress and deliverer as declared in Psalm 18 verse 2 may the Lord uphold you with his strength and provide a refuge where you can find safety and peace may the Lord shield you from the attacks of the enemy and fortify your spirit with the assurance that he is in control I trust in the plans of God over your life plans for welfare and not evil as stated in Jeremiah 29 11 let everyone that is under the sound of my voice see hope and future Lord God that you have designed for them remove any doubt or discouragement that may hinder their lives and believe in the freedom you offer I thank you Lord for the privilege of lifting them before your throne and I believe in your faithfulness and your ability to break every chain that has held them bound in the name of Jesus and I declare over your life may your testimony be of God's miraculous deliverance and may you walk in the fullness of the freedom that only God can provide father we thank you for the miraculous freedom thank you because souls of other men will see their lives and be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ I pray amen good day everyone today we'll be praying against the spirit of delay but first let's grasp some fundamental truths about God God's desire for each of his children is to live a life of dominion and supernatural abundance. He doesn't intend for anyone to live a tail life. His plan is for you to thrive and excel. Delay is not a characteristic of God. While he may withhold certain things to protect us, he doesn't deny his children their rightful blessings. We witness this in the story of Hannah in 1 Samuel chapter 1 verses 4 to 6 and chapter 2 verse 21 where God's time improved perfect. Moreover, God is always punctual. He's never late. 
The account of Jesus delaying to heal Lazarus in John 11 verses 1 to 46 demonstrate his deliberate timing to reveal his power over death. I encourage you to have un an unwavering faith in God, for with him nothing is impossible. This is written also in Luke chapter 1 verse 37. As we proceed to pray, please consider liking this video to help others discover its value. If you are new here, welcome. It's no coincidence. God orchestrated your presence to help you overcome delays. So feel free to subscribe for more prayers tailored for you on this channel. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I come before you with thanksgiving because you always hear our prayers. I thank you for giving your children the privilege of knowing you. Thank you for your mercies and love over their lives. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, I declare that every force of delay, obstructing the progress of everyone under the sound of my voice, is today destroyed in the name of Jesus. I call upon the righteous anger of the Lord to consume every barrier hindering your advancement. I invite the Holy Spirit's overshadowing presence to accelerate your journey towards success and fulfillment. According to Psalm 143 verse 10, teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. And so I reject and renounce every form of delay imposed upon your life in Jesus name. I declare that you are propelled to your distinct place of glory, breaking down ancient barriers in the name of Jesus. I decree the destruction of every witchcraft stronghold, obstructing your breakthrough, and I refuse stagnation and claim progression over your life as mentioned in Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. The Lord will make you the head, not the tail. You will always be at the top and never at the bottom. I bind every stronghold assigned to hinder your advancement in the name of Jesus. I call upon angelic hosts to remove every stumbling block on your path to promotion in Jesus name. According to Psalm 34 verse 7, for the angel of the Lord is a God. He surrounds and defends all who fear him. So I pray that you are bestowed with the power to overcome every force opposing your elevation, rendering failure and setback powerless in your life. Every demonic opposition in your journey, I declare that they are disrupted in the name of Jesus. Aligning with the, with the promise of Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon formed against you will prevail and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. May every spirit of misfortune in your life from today be extinguished in the name of Jesus and every individual collaborating with evil forces to hinder your progress I declare confusion in their midst right now in the name of Jesus. I declare that every assembly of demonic entities scheming against your elevation be engulfed in the flame of divine retribution in the name of Jesus. I claim divine favor and promotion in every aspect of your life. As stated in Psalm 5 verse 12, For surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. I sever and release you from every generational curse of delay through the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare every foundational strong man hindering your advancement is obliterated in the name of Jesus. I command every evil scheme cause and delay to be uprooted from your life. I reject and cast off every influence of demonic delay obstructing your progress as it is written in Isaiah 45 verse 2, I will go before you and I will level the mountains. I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. I declare that every gate of hindrance erected by your ancestry be sealed shut by the flames of divine intervention in the name of Jesus. I decree an end to the spirit of failure and delay impeding your advancement as affirmed in Isaiah 9 verse 4, for you will break the yoke of their slavery and lift the heavy burden from their shoulders. You will break the oppressor's rod just as you did when you destroyed the army of Midian. 
every incantation and divination plotted against your advancement be engulfed by the blood in the name of Jesus. I pray that the purifying flames of the Holy Spirit consume every spell, curse, and enchantment crafted to hinder your life. According to Isaiah 47 verse 14, Behold, they shall be as stubble, the fire shall burn them, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. I declare that every curse as strong as iron aimed at obstructing your destiny is shattered into fragments in the name of Jesus. I declare that force fostering setbacks and delays in your life perish in the name of Jesus. Every demonic manipulation seeking to obscure your glory be consumed by the fairy presence of the Lord. Anything impeding your possession of rightful blessings be eradicated. Every evil eye fixed on hindering your progress be blinded by the light of God's truth. I declare that you advance boldly by the refining flames of God's presence in the mighty name of Jesus. As affirmed in Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5, For I, saith the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about and will be the glory in the midst of her. Lord Jesus, I extend heartfelt gratitude to you for the fulfillment of my prayer requests. According to Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And so I stand firm against the spirit of delay that seeks to hinder everyone's progress and destiny. The word of God says in Exodus chapter 23 verse 27, I will send my terror ahead of you and create panic among all the people whose hands you invade. I will make all your enemies turn and run. I claim this promise over your life declaring that every force of delay opposing your advancement shall be thrown into confusion and defeated by the mighty hand of the Lord. I reject every assignment of delay orchestrated by the enemy over your life and I declare that the divine timing and purposes of the Lord will prevail in your life in the name of Jesus. I renounce any agreement or alliance you have had with the forces of darkness that have contributed to the delays in your life and I sever every ungodly soul tie and connection just as you have received Jesus in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I command every spirit of delay operating in your life to be bound and cast out into the abyss, never to return in the name of Jesus. I dismantle every stronghold and hindrance erected by the enemy to stall your progress and destiny fulfillment in the name of Jesus. I declare you are set free from the grip of delay and I step into the fullness of God's timing. I declare we step together by faith knowing that Jesus had done for you what you agree upon in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for always hearing and delivering us in the name of Jesus. Amen. God's intention for your life is upward and forward, marked by growth and progress. He takes no pleasure in seeing you trapped or stagnant with years passing by without tangible advancement. That's why we are praying against stagnation. God desires your well-being and wants you to flourish as expressed in 3 John 2 while the enemy seeks to hold people back. God's mission is to uplift and propel them forward. To demonstrate his stance against stagnation, God sent Jesus to bear our sins, limitations, and curses. Jesus bore our sins, our stagnation on the cross, exchanging it for speed and progress in life. Through Jesus' sacrifice, the Father by the Holy Spirit has the authority to liberate you from stagnation in Jesus' name. You possess a right purchased by the blood of Jesus to be free from the stagnation and to experience rapid progress and advancement in life. When you understand this, or if you believe this, let me invite you to declare in the comments, I am truly free. Stagnation has no place in my life. As we move to pray, I encourage you to consider giving this video a thumbs up to assist others in recognizing its worth. If you are joining us from the for the first time, welcome. Your presence here is not by chance. It's part of God's plan to aid you in overcoming those things that have kept you at a place 
don't hesitate to subscribe for additional prayers specifically designed for you on this channel. Let us pray. Dear Father, I thank you for the sacrifice of your dear son Jesus Christ on the cross, paying the price for the freedom of your children from stagnation according to Romans chapter 8 verse 2. For the law of the spirit of life has set us free in Christ Jesus. I embrace what you accomplish for every one of us. And so thank you, Lord, for your beloved children as they can look to the enemy and tell him with confidence that through Christ's death, burial, and resurrection, they have been granted the right to freedom, a legal entitlement to be liberated from stagnation in the powerful name of Jesus. I command stagnation to depart from your life. Spirit of stagnation, setback and limitation leaves you now in Jesus' name. According to Psalm 18 verse 45, the strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. I claim your release from stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I render useless every force, power and influence that has kept you immobilized with no progress. In Jesus' name, I invoke the power of God against the demon of stagnation that has kept you bound by the power of God through the power that raised Jesus from the dead. I declare your deliverance and claim your victory. I pray that you receive your redemption from stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ. According to Ezekiel chapter 36 verses 29 to 30, I will also save you from all your uncleanness and I will call for the coin and will increase and lay no famine upon you. I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the increase of the field that they shall receive no more reproach of farming among the heathen. I command progress, speed and acceleration into your life and endeavors in the name of Jesus. Based on the word of God, I call for progress, increase and growth through the power of God in the name of Jesus. As Isaiah 40, 31 promises, but they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. In the name of Jesus, I declare a total freedom for you, leaving no aspect untouched. According to Exodus chapter 10 verse 26a, there shall not an hoof be left behind. I declare that you are completely liberated from stagnation and its grip. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for restoration and compensation by faith and the power of God in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord embosses you for all the lost years and time you have spent in one place. I pray that you receive double for your shame in a with the word of God in Isaiah 61 verse 7. Instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion. And instead of disgrace, you will receive your inheritance. I pray that the Lord restores and renews your strength, granting you the ability to soar like an eagle, as promised in Isaiah 40, 31. But those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar high on wings as eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. I pray that you are endowed with the grace to make strides that defy human understanding, achieving in one year what would normally take a decade by the Lord's divine empowerment in the name of Jesus. I declare that time is compressed for your sake in Jesus name. I declare that you are showered with grace for extraordinary achievements in every aspect of your life. I declare that your life becomes a testimony of progress, speed and acceleration by the mighty power of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that your testimony gets to the extent that those who knew you previously would not recognize you a year from now due to the remarkable progress you have made through the Spirit of God. I declare that your life is adorned abundantly with the grace of the Father, transforming you into a marvel to many in Jesus' name. I declare that you fully and completely restore all the years, time, assets and fortunes Everyone under the sound of my voice is lost through the spirit of grace and holiness in the mighty name of Jesus. I reject the status of in insignificance in your life. I refuse confinement and limitation in your life. According to Isaiah 60 verse 22, a little one shall become a thousand and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, 
I pray that you break through barriers surpassing human calculation and satanic constraints in the name of Jesus. I declare that you reclaim, recapture and obtain all that is rightfully yours. I invoke and embrace the grace for acceleration, the ability to swiftly accomplish tasks, fulfill purposes and achieve greatness in your life, all in the name of Jesus. I believe and receive that which was once stagnant in your life is now beginning to flow as promised in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. I decree that the principle of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus is an operation within every facet of your life. Whether it be your properties, interests, career or any endeavor you undertake. Just as Romans 8 verse 2 declares, the law of the spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. I affirm that this law of life brings about productivity, growth and prosperity in all your pursuits in Jesus' name. By the divine power of God and in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that you are endowed with creativity, ingenuity and excellence. I declare that you approach tasks with a fresh perspective leading to remarkable outcomes and testimonies in alignment with Exodus chapter 31 verse 3. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God and with wisdom, with understanding, with knowledge, with all kinds of skills. Henceforth, every endeavor you undertake flourishes abundantly for the breath of the Almighty rests upon you and the work of your hands. As stated in Job 3 verse 4, the Spirit of God has made me the breath of the Almighty gives me life. I declare that you walk in the blessings of Abraham, experiencing divine favor and prosperity in every aspect of your life. According to Psalm 1 verse 3, And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, and his live also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. I decree that your hands are blessed your mind is blessed and everything you engage in is blessed with increase, progress, peace and prosperity. As promised in Genesis 12 verse 2, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I declare Isaiah 58 verse 11 over you. The Lord will guide you continually, giving you water when you are dry and restoring your strength. You will be like a watered garden, like an ever-flowing spring. Father, we thank you because restoration is here. There is a continuous blessing that flows for everyone that has accepted and agreed with me in this prayer. For it is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Witchcraft predominantly relies on manipulation at its primary tool, forming the bedrock of domination and control. This phase is critical as it serves as the breeding ground for substantial destruction, demanding our utmost vigilance. By thwarting witchcraft manipulation, the potential for subsequent domination and control is effectively neutralized. The overarching goal of witchcraft is to assert dominance and control over individuals, families or nations, akin to automatons, directing their acts according to the whims of the malevolent forces. In contrast, God has bestowed upon us the gift of free will, enabling us to make choices autonomously. Unlike the coercive nature of witchcraft, God respects our freedom, allowing us the agency to willingly make choices. This is why we can join as I pray against witchcraft and manipulation over your life, if you believe me. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that every record where your name is written for witchcraft manipulation is wiped out. In the name of Jesus, every agent of witchcraft observing you to manipulate your destiny is blinded and paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft authority over you, destiny broken. For you sit far above manipulations and principalities and powers with accordance to Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6. For he raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ Jesus. 
And so I declare that every satanic roadblock on your path hindering and manipulating your success be cleared away in Jesus name. Isaiah 57 14 says and it shall be said build up build up prepare the way remove every obstacle from every people's way ever witchcraft substance you have taken intending to cause harm I declare it harmless in Jesus name. Mark 16 17 to 18 says these miraculous signs will accompany those who believe if they drink anything poisonous it won't hurt them so i dispel every witchcraft web over your life aligning with james 4 7 submit yourselves therefore to god resist the devil and he will flee from you and i command destruction upon every foundation of witchcraft assigned against you in jesus name According to Psalm 69 verse 22, let their own table before them become a snare and when they are at peace, let it become a trap. I decree the plans of witchcraft to become traps for them in Jesus name and I command the fire goes before the Lord, burns up every seed of witchcraft manipulation against your life in Jesus name. Standing on Psalms 9 to 7 verse 3, fire goes before him and burns up his adversaries all around. As in Psalm 55 verse 9, destroy, O Lord, divide their tongues, for I see violence and strife in the city. I declare the communication system of witchcraft used for manipulation be jammed, working contrary to their plans in Jesus' name. Let every throne of witchcraft assigned against you to manipulate you be cast down and shattered in the name of Jesus. As in Psalm 2 verse 9, you shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. I declare that the strongholds of witchcraft aimed to manipulate you be pulled down in Jesus' name, aligning with 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but that have divine power to destroy strongholds. I declare that their refuge be pulled down and let them have no hiding place from these arrows of prayers. In the name of Jesus, the word of God in Psalm 129 verse 4 says, The Lord is righteous. He has cut the cords of the wicked. I declare that the network of witchcraft used to manipulate your life be broken and made useless. In the name of Jesus, I command the intermediaries of witchcraft to become disappointed and unable to carry out their enterprise in Jesus name. With the sword of the spirit, I rebuke and cut off every witchcraft manipulation and enchantment. I renounce any involvement you would have had with darkness to manipulate you and break every and any unholy alliances that may have been formed against you. I declare that the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus Christ break every chain of manipulation and renders ineffective any attempt to control and harm you through witchcraft in Jesus' name. In accordance with Galatians chapter 3 verse 13, I declare that Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the Lord, including any curse associated with witchcraft. I stand firm on the authority of the shed blood and I renounce every spell or incantation spoken against you to manipulate every aspect of your life. By the power of the cross, I break every curse and nullify the influence of any witchcraft spirit in your life in the name of Jesus. Psalm 31 verse 20 says, You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the schemes of men. You store them in your shelter from accusing tongues. And so I declare that the Lord hides you in the shelter of his presence. I pray that the presence of the Lord keeps you from the conspiracy of witchcraft manipulation. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the light exposes every witchcraft schemes targeted to manipulate you in the name of Jesus. And I declare the victory of the cross over your life against any manipulation, knowing that Jesus has overcome the world. And I command any spirit of manipulation to lose its grip on you and leave even now in the name of Jesus. I declare that the means and routes through which you ought to be manipulated be dismantled in Jesus' name. I command the weapons of witchcraft to manipulate you to turn against themselves against each one and each other right now in the name of Jesus. I declare that every of their wisdom working against you 
be converted to foolishness in Jesus' name. As it's written in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 19 to 20, for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. I declare that every imagination of witchcraft against you be neutralized in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 3 verse 7, Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you strike all my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. And so, Lord, I declare that you smite every witchcraft powers on the cheekbones in the name of Jesus. And I pray that the teeth in the mouth are broken to prevent them from speaking words to manipulate. I declare the tongue anointed by witchcraft against you be cut off in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft decisions against your life are scattered. The word of God in Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 12 says, Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will open up your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people. I will bring you into the land of Israel. Therefore, every burial of your virtues by witchcraft and manipulation, I declare that that comes back in the name of Jesus. I declare that in the name of Jesus, every force of witchcraft manipulation directed against your life is defeated. Deuteronomy 28 verse 7, I say it over you that the Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out against you in one way and flee before you in seven ways. Any witchcraft gathering against you to manipulate your life, I declare that they become manipulated instead. I declare that though they will attack you from one direction, but they will scatter from you in seven directions in Jesus' name. Proverbs 26 verse 2 declares, Like a fluttering sparrow or a dirting swallow, an undeserved curse does not come to rest. I stand upon this promise, trusting in the Father's protection against any undeserved curses or manipulative forces against your life. And I nullify the influence every evil word directed towards you. To manipulate you in the name of Jesus, I declare that any destiny destroying words that have been spoken or is being spoken against you now shall not come to rest in the name of Jesus. You receive victory by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A breakthrough signifies progress growth, promotion, elevation, and noteworthy positive transformations. It encompasses advancements in various facets of life. The adversary seeks to hinder your progress, aiming to keep you in a state of stagnation and prevent the expected advancement. This is precisely when breakthroughs become essential. They are indispensable in every dimension of life. Urging you to push forward, ascend to greater heights and conquer obstacles hindering your path is what we are doing now. So in essence, breakthroughs serve as the catalyst for overcoming challenges and propelling you towards a more enriched and victorious existence. So let's pray, knowing that you are the child of God, God intends that you progress. As I pray against stagnation for breakthrough, Let's pray. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that we've come again, thanking you for always hearing us as we pray. We know even before we pray that you have answered us. And so this is our confidence that as we pray for everyone and in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice, that you will show them mercy. And so I declare, may the origin of oppression in your life wither away as its root and uprooted in the name of Jesus. Matthew 15 verse 13 says, Every plant not planted by my heavenly Father would be uprooted. And so I declare the swift termination of every rage from the enemy in the powerful name of Jesus. Psalm 37 verse 15 says, But their swords would stab their own hearts, and their bows would be broken. 
the wellspring of satanic forces celebrating against you dries up right now and instantly in the name of Jesus. As I declare that the might and influence of the enemy rejoicing over your life also crumbles in the name of Jesus. I proclaim the paralysis of any force obstructing your progress by the authority in the name of Jesus. I decree divine solutions to your problems and your life challenges in line with Psalm 34 verse 19 that says the righteous person faces many troubles but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. The premature joy of your adversary is curtailed even right now in the name of Jesus. Standing on Psalm 35 verse 19 says, Don't let my treacherous enemy rejoice over my defeat. Don't let those who hate me without cause gloat over my sorrow. I assert the termination of every satanic force rejoicing over your life and health even now in the name of Jesus. I declare today, the termination of all satanic influence over your business. As I decree the cessation of affliction and declare an end to the wickedness that surrounds you. As the psalm is proclaimed in Psalm 37 verse 13, But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he sees that his day is coming. I command the cessation of evil laughter and mockery in your situation in the name of Jesus. And I declare that the adversary preventing your breakthrough falls and perishes as stated in Psalm 37 verse 20. But the wicked would perish. The enemies of the Lord are like the glory of the pastures. They vanish like smoke, they vanish away. I invoke divine intervention to destroy every weapon of satanic rejoicing in your life in the name of Jesus. I decree the manifestation of breakthroughs through the power of the living God in the name of Jesus. As I lift my eyes to the Lord, the glory and the lifter up of our heads and pray for a miraculous elevation over your life in the name of Jesus. I declare in alignment with Psalm 97 verse 5, the mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth that anything hindering you henceforth melts like wax in Jesus name and in the authority of Jesus' name I declare the breaking of the yoke of embarrassment that has held you down according to Isaiah 10 27 which says in that day the Lord will end the bondage of his people he will break the yoke of slavery and lift it from their shoulders this is my proclamation over your life in the name of Jesus that the liberation from the yoke of terrible misfortunes invoking the power of the Holy Spirit to break it begins to happen in your life now. The word of God in Jeremiah 30 verse 8 says, For in that day, says the Lord of the heaven's armies, I will break the yoke from their necks and snap their chains. Foreigners will no longer be their masters. Therefore declare that any yoke of backwardness in your life is broken. The yoke of inadequacies is shattered in the name of Jesus, for you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. The yoke of repeated disappointment is broken over your life. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that the yoke of disgraceful frustration, as is written in Psalm 23 verse 4, is dismantled as you walk through the valley. And I will fear no evil, the word of God says, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I proclaim the breaking of the yoke of wicked embargo that restrains you. I declare the liberation from the yoke of horrible limitations over your life, according to Romans 8 2, that says, Because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free. The yoke of manifestation postponement in your life is shattered in the name of Jesus, aligning with the word of God in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. For still the vision awaits in the appointed time, it hastens to the end, it will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it, it will surely come, it will not delay. This is your portion, beloved, in the name of Jesus. As I pray also, Psalm 27 verse 14, this says, Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. I declare that the yoke of suffocating delay over you is loosed in the name of Jesus. The yoke of sudden stoppage of progress is dismantled as declared in Proverbs 4.12. When you walk, your step will not be hampered, and if you run, you will not stumble. Psalm 18 verse 21, for by you I can run through troops, and by God I can live over wall. And in the authority of Jesus' name, I declare the breaking of the yoke of slippery breakthrough 
over your life in the name of Jesus. I decree the manifestation of the power of God for a great turnaround in your life. Every shackle hindering your financial breakthrough is broken. Aligning with Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. And my God will supply every need of your life according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I invoke the raising of your destiny helpers for your breaking forth as an Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 to 10. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. I decree the demise of every prince of Pasha delaying your breakthrough as it happened with Daniel. Every obstacle blocking your path to breakthrough is removed in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 43 verse 19 says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I pray for the dominating power to break through and break forth in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54 verse 3 says, For thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left. This is your portion in the name of Jesus. Psalm 23 verse 5 says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I declare the defeat of every enemy standing against your breakthrough in Jesus' name. May an all-round breakthrough manifest in every aspect of your life and may showers of blessings rain into every area of your life in the powerful name of Jesus. I expel every demonic force that hinders your breakthrough. I pray guidance for you to dwell in the power and the authority of divine breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, as I declare again and again, Isaiah 41 verse 10, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This is your privileged child of God. Receive it with thanksgiving. As I know God has started a great thing in your life. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. The association that you keep either has negative or positive effects upon your attitudes, actions, or physical or even spiritual well-being. Your influence for better or for worse by those in whom or with whom you associate. This is why the Bible says in Proverbs 13 verse 20, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. And in 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14 says, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion had light with darkness? Now this prayer is important for you. If you got involved in any evil association, whether willing or unwillingly, join me as I pray that you freely make godly associations. Let's pray. Father, I thank you, Lord, for the salvation of the souls of your dear children, whom you are the one that planned for. I thank you for the transformative work you've done and performed in their lives through the salvation of their souls in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord God, knowing that they have accepted you, Father, they have discovered a foothold that the enemy has held as I begin to pray with agreement with them that I break any curse that may be operating against them that the enemy has taken advantage of standing on the written word in Zechariah chapter 2 verse 4 for I will be a wall of fire all around declares the Lord and I will be the glory in her midst I pray for the protective walls of fire to surround you now as you have taken this decision in the name of Jesus, I appeal to the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus over your body, soul, and spirit. May the blood of Jesus purify you from any negative effects of past associations or even present that you are about to live in the name of Jesus. For you have overcome by the blood of the Lamb, and in the mighty name of Jesus I destroy every covenant that may be working negatively in your life. Isaiah 28 verse 18 says, Then your covenant with death 
will be annulled and your agreement with Shul will not stand. I disown and reject all words spoken over you through involvement in any evil association. In the name of Jesus, I disassociate your image from the altars and culverts of these evil associations. In the powerful name of Jesus, I nullify every and any evil covenant made by your parents on your behalf, cancelling the yokes attached to them in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are liberated from the stronghold domineering power and bondage of limitations as declared in Isaiah 49 verse 25. For thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken and the prey of the tyrant shall be rescued. For I will contend with those who contend with you and I will save your children. And so Lord, I declare that this once you are immersed in the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus annulling any evil marks or writings placed on you, aligning with Colossians chapter 1 verse 20, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. I annul all inherited covenants and those who entered into consciously or unconsciously in the name of Jesus. I demolish the wicked foundations of your life and establish a new one on the solid rock, Jesus Christ, for according to Psalm 18 verse 2, the Lord is your rock, your fortress, in whom you find protection, your shield and your place of safety. I dismantle every hindrance, obstacle or blockade, hindering your progress due to any attachment to evil associations in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 45 verse 2 says, I will go before you and level the exalted places. I will break in pieces the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I break and nullify every curse, spell, hex, enchantment, bewitchment, or incantation placed upon you through your association with these evil groups before. In the name of Jesus. 1 John chapter 5 verse 18 says, For God's Son holds them securely, and the evil one cannot touch them. And I proclaim the same scripture over your body, soul, and spirit, off limits to all evil spirits, invoking the name of Jesus. I annul every covenant with idols and the yokes associated with them in the name of Jesus. I refuse and invalidate every evil pronouncement imposed on you in Jesus' name. I declare the restoration of any damage inflicted on your body in the name of Jesus. I disown, counsel and reject any affiliation with any familiar spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray for the removal of all curses and placed upon your ancestral families due to any of their involvement in evil associations in the name of Jesus. And I break and annul every blood and soul tie covenant and the yokes accompanying it in the name of Jesus. I command the demise of every curse operating against your head through the power in the blood of Jesus. I call upon the divine power of the Lord to draw you out of the waters of affliction in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 18 verse 16, He sent from on high, He took me, He drew me out of many waters. Voices of strangers casting spells against you, I declare that they perish in the name of Jesus. I wipe off every ordinance invoked by the power of darkness into the heavens against you in the name of Jesus. The word of God in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 3 says, But the Lord is faithful, He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. I call therefore upon the power of God to attack all covens assigned against your head in the name of Jesus as I declare confusion in the midst of their territories. In the name of Jesus, I free you from every grip of ancestral spirits holding you down. In the powerful name of Jesus, I declare that you are released from every spirit that is not the spirit of Christ. For 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 says, but the person who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. I renounce any of your association with all evil groups and detachment from them in the name of Jesus. Psalm 51 verse 7 says, Purge me with high soap and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. I pray that you are purified from all evil covenants and curses just as you have renounced them and received Jesus in the name of Jesus. I declare that all demonic spirits attached to evil covenants and curses against your life is carted in the name of Jesus. I declare the name of Jesus to terrify all evil associations in your life. According to Philippians chapter 2 verse 10, so that at the name of Jesus, 
every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and underneath the earth. The psalmist proclaims in Psalm 34 verse 7, For you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with the songs of deliverance. And so I declare that the protection encompasses you from any and every evil association in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord be your refuge, your sanctuary that is in an impenetrable fortress against the onslaught of spiritual adversaries. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke any demonic influence in your life that may be associated with evil companionship. I invoke the power of the blood of Jesus to cleanse and purify your spirit, soul and body from any contamination that may result from ungodly associations. In the name of Jesus, I pray the sanctifying work of the Spirit of God break every chain and release you from any bondage forged by the enemy and I declare that you are surrounded with songs of deliverance. I pray that the melodies of victory drown out the whispers of any evil association in the name of Jesus. And I declare that you are heeding in the shadow of the wings of the Almighty, shielded from the arrows of any evil association as I renounce any unholy alliances that may seek to draw you away from the perfect will of the Father in the name of Jesus. I rebuke any evil association that may seek to entangle you again. According to Psalm 37 verse 28, For the Lord loves justice and does not forsake his saints. They are preserved forever, but the children of the wicked shall be cut off. I declare that every scheme of the enemy aimed at disrupting your life henceforth is cut off in the name of Jesus. As I declare that the justice of the Lord prevails, that the plans of the wicked already thwarted in the mighty and majestic name of Jesus, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Please subscribe to our channel and God bless you as you do so. Amen.